<clears throat> ja ja in chat, everybody. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Welcome to the Tuesday stream. Ja ja's ready. Sc or scatters, whatever you prefer. I guess you're doing scatters anyways. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How are you guys? How are you guys doing today? It's actually Wednesday. Why did you think I said Wednesday? Did I say Tuesday? I meant Wednesday. I got confused. If I said... I don't know what I said. I meant Wednesday. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was stuck in yesterday, I suppose. How tryhard will you play today? I'm not sure yet. Um, on the one hand, I really want to make Master 1 today. We are going to do it today. Um, but the, on the other hand, I also thought it'd be funny if we did like a... I was thinking maybe we do a challenge where I have to do the final boss with Paleo. Or something like that. I think that'd be fun. So I can play all the way to until it's only one game left. And then I have to play Paleo for the last one. If we lose, we have to get back there and stuff like that. That seems fun. Uh, Nail me. Thank you for the 19 months. Welcome back. Appreciate you. Uh, all right. What do you think the best runic variant is at the moment in a TCG? Probably Bestials, because the Bestials are actually solid non-engine against Voiceless, Branded, and also against Fire King, or Fire Snake Eyes, rather, because, like, hitting their SP and Link Karibo is quite okay. Can we look at the top Duelist Cup deck lists? Is there, if there's an easy link that compiles some of them, uh, we can take a look at them and also try some of them that look promising if you if you have a link ready uh if there is like a, a someone who compiled them in like a readable fashion then yes hello josh i was i always watch your youtube videos and finally got up at 4 a.m in california to watch you okay did you get up because you wanted to watch or did you get up because you had to get up anyways Either way, uh, glad to have you here. Welcome to the stream. I wanted to watch. That is that is commitment. Welcome to the stream. All right. It's always a massive little meta too. I think it was a decent summary. Okay, yeah, we'll t we can take a look at that in a bit. That's no problem. Cool. All right. Um. Let's do uh, let's do card guesser, and then I'll tell you what we do today. How does that sound? Let's go. Let's see how. Let's see if we can beat the washed allegations today. Surely we can. Surely the answer is yes. Oh, this is this had something with a T. No. Teva. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> Raza23, thank you for the two months. I don't know what you're doing today, but I'm not learning Blackwing. What else return? It, it might be a wonderful day to set five traps against Blackwings. That might be the case. Uh, so you're a Constellar or a Satellar Knight. Uh, oh, that's al -Giri, I think. Please. No, Alzam. Oh, oh that, that's what, okay. I knew it was something with A. Um, this is black-winged... Assault Dragon? No. Which one is that? Black-winged Rage Dragon? Dark Rage Dragon. No. It's not the one. Okay, I'm skipping it. Maybe it's a spell trap. I got no idea. Black Shadow Squall. Okay, cool. We got baited into wasting like 40 seconds. Uh, I think that is literally just the OG Pendulum Dragon. Hot Ice. Yeah. This feels familiar too. Uh, 
Um, Tackle Crusader, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Galaxy Wizard. Nice. This one, I'm not sure what it is. I don't know what it is. I, I'm going to skip it. It's a Karakuri, but I, I, I haven't seen it before. Oh, this is the Hermos. Rocket Hermos cannon? Yeah. Hmm. No idea. Cubic. I can tell it's a cubic, but... <laughs> Thank you for the 15 months. Uh, Insector... Exa... Beetle. Yeah. This is... Is that a BA? Cherubini? Yeah. Uh oh, Soul Tiger. No, Flame Tiger. Oh, Soul Tiger is the blue one, right? The vanilla. This one is the effect monster. Chansey, thank you for the first time, Prime. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Uh, this is Sis Hunter. I think. Uh, then it's Mahander. Yep. Uh, I feel like I've seen it, but I can't name it. I don't know what it is. Motor home, tr motor home transport. Oh, uh, uh, Spellstone, no, it's not Karud, um, Black, Sp oh yeah, Alchemist of Black Spells, yeah. Uh, no, it definitely has Y and X. A to Z, oh, is it A to Z? No. Oh, I've been lied to. Oh, it has armed dragon stuff in it as well. What the hell is that? Armed dragon cat. Okay, I've never seen that before. That's some advanced technology. Uh, oh, this is um, the bee trooper giant like uh, Atlas. Yes. Giant bee, giant bee trooper. Invincible Atlas. Yep. Uh, that's Dyson Sphere, right? Yeah. Uh, Ritual Spell for... Who is it? Um, it could be Masked Ritual. No. Oh, it's okay. It's it's something completely different. Miracle restoring. Is it that? Are you sure? I, I don't know why I doubt it. I don't, I'm sorry. I do not know what that is. Eternal chaos. That gives me musketeer vibes. And uh, not anymore. No, I don't know what that is. I don't think that's a musketeer. Dodo do warrior. That is definitely not a musketeer. 
Okay, this is a giant wing beat or wing beat of the giant dragon. Yeah, that's one. This looks familiar. I can't quite tell what it is yet. Uh, Grave Digger's Ghoul, right? BLS. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, that's a battling box or something. Punch. Counter punch. Yeah. Uh, that's hunting ground. Uh, Thunder Canvas or the Weather Painter Thunder, right? Weather Paint, th dude, Thunder. Thank you. <laughs> that was more complicated than I wanted it to be. No idea what that is. Altergeist, okay. Uh, ancient gear. But I don't know what that, what else that would be. Gemini counter? That's not Gemini counter. Nah, you lied. Dude, I don't know these cards, man. What is this? Forest of Lost Flowers? Who Megalol? Uh, uh, that's Aqua Mirror Cycle. Yep. One pack magic, never forget. No idea what that is. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. Uh, that's a fire fist. What, what animal is that? I can't tell. Rhino? It looks like a rhinoceros. Fire fist rhino. Yeah, okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's croaking. Uh, that's a, that's a light and dragon, I think. Yeah. That's a, I, oh, I know this is the fusion monster for a uh, witch crafter, right? Uh, hey, is it, is it vice? Madame. Yeah. This is... Dude, tell me you're a Cybers without telling me you're a Cybers. I have no idea which one, though. Vulor, thank you for the kind words. Thank you for the four months. And congrats on winning your regional. Very nice, very nice to hear. Well done. Uh, dude, today is not going well, but I just don't know these cards. Like, what am I supposed to do if I don't know what they are? Uh, this is a six samurai card. It's not... Is it back against the wall? I'm not sure. No, back to the wall. No, wait, what? Backs to the wall. That's the one. Yeah. 
Uh, this is... Uh, is that Citadel? No. It's another... It's a... Is it Citadel? Oh, it is. Okay. This is the Utopian Aura. I think. Yeah, the counter trap. This, this solemn strike pseudo thingy. Mm, this one I don't know. That's a Dogmatica? Really? Uh, that might... Is that Inferno Reckless Summon? No, Inferno Reckless Summon is green, isn't it? It's not Inferno Reckless Summon. Raging Earth? No. Grave of... Enkindling. Okay, never mind. No, don't know what that is. Um... Oh, that's a Liralusk. Uh, Burial Canary? Yeah. And what do we have here? Oh, Toon Goblin. Toon Goblin Attack Force. Uh, oh, this is the the dragon equip spell. The oh god, what's this, what is this called? This is like ancient. Uh, dragon treasure. Yeah. Uh, electromagnetic turtle. Uh, oh, um, I'm not sure yet, but, okay, no, that's not what I thought it was. Deep Sea Repetitor? No. Deep Sea Aria? Aria. Oh god, Scareclaw... I think this is the Revival spell. What is it called? Arrival? No. Grief? Oh, is it Tillman's Grief? Oh, it is Grief. Okay. Uh, urgent... Schedule. No. Special schedule. Ah. Dude. The the end was actually okay. It was like the middle part somewhere where it was messed up. But yeah, that was not great. That was not great. We won't talk about it. We won't talk about it. <laughs> we will not talk about it. Okay. Let's quickly guess this one. It is a warrior. A big warrior from back in the day. This one's funny. Oh, is it? It's a big warrior from back in the day. Effect monster, not a dark. Well, like, uh, let's try like the uh, one of the gear freeds. Right? Could be this. Okay. It's an effect monster. Uh, it's an effect monster that has... It's not just an effect monster. You said it's funny. Why is it funny? Level 5, 6, 7, warrior, probably synchro? Uh, it could be a fusion. Um... It's even older than 2012. Uh, Nemes Josh, thank you for the eight months. Appreciate that. Welcome back. Oh, you know what? You know what would be funny if it was that? Ah, that's why it's funny. I see. Okay, I get it. I get it. 
I get it. Yeah. <laughs> What card is that? What card is that? I've never seen it before, guys. Anyone recognize this card? Has anyone ever talked about this card before? Does that card even exist? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That might be new hero support. We don't talk about this card. <laughs> All right, cool. That that was funny. You were right. That was funny. Okay, cool. Warm up out of the way. Uh, card guess are not as successful, but you, YG Ordle was was decent. So we call that a uh, an okay start. <laughs> All right, welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome to the stream, everybody. We have got a couple of fun things ahead of ourselves today. Um, you're gonna get. Today, you guys are going to get more content than usual from me, if you guys want, because we're going to have, um, we're going to have our normal stream. Uh, Moikov, thank you for the 13 months. Hello. We're going to, we're going to have our normal stream, normal length, everything. Um, but we also are going to have the podcast later today with Parfa, obviously, and we're going to have a guest on. Uh, that's going to be happening on Farfa's stream, though. So we're going to be streaming until about 5 p.m. my time. And then I'm going to go off. Probably going to host Farfa. Send you guys over there. And then a while later, we're going to be doing the podcast over on Farfa's stream. So if you guys, you know, if you guys want to listen to that later, that uh, that's going to be an option for you guys as well. Um, that being said, we also have a... I've said this before a couple times. Let me quickly check if there's still room to enter the tournament. But there is a Challenger Cup happening. Uh, well, there's there's one spot left. Uh, there's a Challenger Cup happening on Friday, uh, which is the last Challenger Cup of the winter season. And I'm going to be hosting it, which means we're going to be live on Friday as well, uh, commentating over the Challenger Cup. So there's going to be a Friday stream this week. Tomorrow, I am not sure if there is going to be a stream yet. and. Even if there is, it's probably going to be shorter because of a couple reasons. The first one is that my uh, tomorrow is a holiday in, in Germany, I think. Uh, I, at least I, I'm pretty sure. It, maybe? No. Actually, I don't know. My fiance doesn't work tomorrow, so I want to spend some time with her. And also, we are... Um, we're going to an animal shelter tomorrow to have... We, we, we're looking at a cat. We're looking. We're meeting a cat and seeing if it if it works out. Um, because we 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 were thinking about adopting one. Um, and I don't know exactly when I have to leave for that, and and all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, we have to we have to check uh, if it works out because I'm a I'm a little uh I I have it depends on the cat, but I have sometimes I do have a little bit of an allergy. Uh, with some cats it's better with some cats it's worse um but i i feel like it might be worth it regardless because i mean i i grew up and uh and my parents we always had a cat uh when i was a kid even though i was allergic so i don't know it, it's i guess it's something i got used to over time i will see so yeah, we're we're going to we're going to the animal shelter tomorrow and seeing if it works out. So that that's why I might not have the time to stream tomorrow. Um, but you, I'll I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Okay. Uh, Vanquisher, thank you for the three months. I don't think we're going to be playing much Runic today. Uh, maybe a little bit. I don't know. I was so okay. The situation is the following. I want to make Master One um this month, obviously, and we don't have that many streams left until the end of the month actually because like i said tomorrow we might not have as much time to stream there might not even be a stream at all i'm not sure yet uh, on friday we are not actually playing we're casting the challenger cup and then the season is over pretty much right then uh, next monday when we have the next stream is uh, is already a new season so we kind of have to hit master one today or we're not going to do it we're going to be washed if we don't do it today we're not going to get master one so we have to we have to try at least a little bit. We are we are kind of close. We are in master 2. So it shouldn't be a problem. We will be able to do it today. Um 
but basically what we're doing today is the same as yesterday we're just playing we're playing uh we're playing seriously but uh, i think to make it depending on how it goes uh and how fast we climb uh we can add a little challenge on top of the mix like i maybe i have to play my rank up game to master one with a funny deck like uh paleo or something like that you know which then if we lose we have to try again and so on and so forth i think that'd be a fun twist um but i don't want to play i don't want to play just uh fun decks today because i do want to make master one i do want to make sure we can hit master one uh before we hop into the games though i want to give a quick shout out to to task who has uh tweeted the official results have been confirmed in game for the duelist cup and obviously, Ryan, you got first. You also tweeted. I don't have the tweet open right now, but um, obviously, Ryan won, um, which is crazy. Congratulations again for winning another Duelist Cup. Uh, Task has confirmed in this tweet that he got second and that he... I don't know if he has official confirmation, but he thinks at least that this means that he gets an invite because Ryan is already qualified, is what it said in this tweet. Um, so, so far, it's looking like the the Master Duel World Championship this year, we're just going to have all the same people from last year. Right? Konami made an official statement that it passes down in the game. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, okay. It's been confirmed. Okay, nice. Um, yeah, so the, the Master Duel World Championship is just going to be the same as last year, um, which obviously also means that the winners are going to be the same as last year, right? 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 Anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to be playing Master Duel today. Uh, I have a list open here of some Duelist Cup top 100 decks that you guys sent over. Um, Sneaky Steve, thank you for the 10 months. Can you play Pot of Desires in TCG Snake Eye? Uh, I am like 99% sure the answer to that is no. I, I would not recommend doing that. So the thing is, Snake Eye is a deck that heavily relies on certain resources to be in the deck. Like, for example, your one of Oak, your one of Original Sinful Spoils, your one of Field Spell, uh, your two copies of Flamberge are there for good reason. You should not be playing Pot of Desires in... Yeah. In a... Did y'all not get an auto-invite for winning? We did get We did get an invite. What makes you think we didn't? All right, so I, I have a list of a couple decks here. The thing is... Uh, I, I, let's take a look at it real quick. So we've already tried... We have already tried the... The Labyrinth deck from Ryan with some slight... We've made slight adjustments because ranked is not the same as the Duelist Cup meta. But we have tried Ryan's Labyrinth deck. We've tried the Snake Eye Cache and they've both been performing well. We've been able to rank up with them fairly easily. So we can play more of these. I don't really want to play Super Heavy Samurai even though it is a meta deck. But um, I I don't know. I, I I just don't enjoy that deck that much. Uh, tier Lament, please. Dude, there's no way. They actually got 11th in the world with Tier Lament, and they also played Tier Lament? Nah. Really? I guess... I guess we can throw in some... Dude, this is almost the same list. I guess we can throw in a couple T-Element games. Can you link the Google Doc? I can link you the Google Doc, yes. There you go. It's in chat right now. Uh, what else there? What else is there? Is there anything super interesting that we can try? There's a Zodiac. I'm not feeling Zodiac at the moment. There's a Math Mech. I'm not playing that. You know what? Let's just, let's just play with the stuff that we have and maybe try out the tier limit list. I think that sounds fine. Vanquish Snake Eye? Wait, where was Vanquish Snake Eye? Which place was that? Where 
Where is that? Snake Eye Cash. I think I got baited. I don't think there is a Snake Eye Vanquish. Unless I'm unless I'm just not seeing it. I've been one guide. How bad would runic snakes be? I mean, we've played runic snake eye before. That deck it works. That deck does work. Tenth. Well, I think this is this. Okay, this doesn't mean that they played. Um, this is they played different decks. Forty second. Snake. Oh, there it is. Okay. Sure, I guess. You guys want to try this? I don't think it has the greatest synergy, but I don't mind. Why not? Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Let's try some of these decks. We can try the tier limit deck. We can try the Vanquish Soul deck. I, I'm, I think I'm, I'm positive that we can make Master One today, uh, without too much of a problem. I have to get rid of some decks though. Uh, you know what? Let's get rid of this for now. Um, let's get rid of this for now, just because I need some room. Isn't there more slots? I can't. You can get more slots. Yeah, I haven't done so yet. So, Vanquish Soul Snakes. All right. They play a Kurikara. They play a Flamberish, two Poplar, an Oak. This. Uh, Temple and Original. Two Diabell, three, one. It's interesting that they play this without playing this. I think those go well together because you can then Poplar into this and then end phase set up the trap with it. I think that's a cute line. Not sure how, how I feel about not playing that card then, but okay. Vanquish. Three rocks. Trap. Stake. Three Borgers, one Madlove, three Raisin, two Jowlong, one Caesar, no Pantera. Oh no, there is Pantera. Uh, okay. We have Impermanence, Ash, Maxi, a Talents, and a Rota. That's the list. Okay. Interesting. Zeus. Nightingale. Linker Rebo. Uh, Nightmare Phoenix. Eta Dark. Promethean. Whale. Apo. Uh, and Mascarina. Okay, sure. We can try that. And then, do I still have a tier limit somewhere? No. Tiara Men's strongest. <laughs> Two fountain, please. Uh, thank you for the 12 months, the full year of support. Thank you. Also, uh, TY Life, thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciate that. Okay, tier elements strongest. I guess we gamba a little bit. We do a little bit of gambling. Ash, tier elements. So, three Rhino, two Sharon, one Havness, one Tear Cash. 
Uh, obviously, this, this, this. Girl of Rhino. We play in this list. There's one Grief, three Scream, one of each Trap, and Heartbeat. Then we have. Um, both shufflers. We have Shadol Winda with this and this. This Trudeau. Oops. This Trudeau. Fenrir with Raid Soth. Uh, oh yeah, Snow. They play one Seamir. Foolish. Two Talents. Super Poly. Trivi Karma. And uh, I'm missing one card. Which one have I not added? Oh, Rhoda. Okay. Uh, Garura. They play Earth Golem. What was this again? Cybers and a Link. Okay. Drago Stapelia. Oh, they even play Draco Equist. Do I even have that? I do not have that. I have to dismantle supers for that. Okay. Because I'm out of super rare CP. They play Baron. Punisher. Zeus. Redoer. Regards. Sheep and uh, I'm missing a fusion. Oh, Mud Dragon. Okay, I need to dismantle selected cards. Looking for super rares. Uh, what do I get rid of? Three supers need to go. Cosmo. Get rid of dark destroyers and... I mean, most of this stuff is not relevant, is it? Let's get rid of just like, I don't know, one Mech Knight. Filter by Runic. I don't have any Runics to get rid of. All right. Uh, yeah, I think we can, I think what we can do is we can play these four decks up here because those are all I mean, these two are, I think, the best decks that I have at the moment if I want to try hard with them. The Labyrinth and the Snake Eye Cache. And then these other are more like I want to try Duelist Cup lists. And whenever we hit the, the rank up game, we, we have to do it with Paleo. That sounds like a fun challenge for today. I think that's fine. Let us, let's, you guys, I know you guys want me to start with T-Elements. Let's, let's do T-Elements first. Gamba. In general, mods, if you guys ever want to do like a, will we win the next game kind of Gamba, you, you can just do that. You know what? Yesterday, I've gotten 
Fenrir or Unicorn every single game, I'm going to start shotgunning my maxis today. <laughs> uh, please, 7174. Thank you for the four months. Oh, no, it's ninjas out of all things. That's probably not going to special summon. Yep. That's what happens when I shotgun Maxi, by the way. Ooh. Okay, so they have added Baku. If this card is added to your hand except by drawing, you can special summon it. If this card is flipped, a special summon or flipped. Okay. Let's start with the Fenrir, just in case they have their own Maxi. And then we can grab Tear Cash. I think we then foolish for Trivi Karma to grab Pearl Rhino. And we have defeated ninjas. Sick. Okay, cool. Uh, we can do this thing where we just we switch if we lose. Unless we win, I guess, if we win all the games straight, then... Yeah. If we reach Master 1 early, we can just keep playing. I think that's also fine. Who got first place in the Duelist Cup? It was Ryan Yu, again. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good hand. I think they're thinking about shotgunning their maxi. Maxi cooks this. It's not that bad, really. Depends on how we mill, but like, okay, they don't have it. Okay, we've, oh my God, we are so good at this game. How? Um... Let us... Do I want to search first? I think I don't. I think I want to search last. Um, draw and mill doesn't really matter, the order. So we mill three. We milled heartbeat and crime. We drew a Rhino Heart, so we don't have to search a Rhino Heart. That's good. We can search Tear Cash. So now we Heartbeat. Um, probably the Crime seems safer. Dude, this is this is so criminal. This deck shouldn't be doing this. But it does it every time, to me as well. When I play against this, it does this shit all the time. Mm, yeah, dude. Holy, okay. Have I been, uh... Have I been disregarding... Theorem and strong, it's all this time. Dude, if we win another game, we're already at the rank up game. We just started. <laughs> because strongest. <laughs> I hate that this is working. Okay, surely now someone can beat us. Surely. Please, Kikian. You can beat us. You can beat this. All you need is another starter. Dude, it's strongest. Why is this deck so blessed, man? Uh, 
What is the set card anyways? Scythe? Oh, it could be Scythe. It could be Scythe. I might not even want to pop it. Mill three, the Strudo and Tear Cash. Okay. Havness, one Havness, two Tear Cash. Wait, it was called by the grave? Okay. What's the. Why is there called by the grave in your super heavy samurai deck? Dude, we milled Shirin and Shuffler. Oh my god, how are we? This this deck this deck is blessed. This deck just can't lose. Okay, there's Maxi at least. Uh sure. How easy is it for me to just game them here? It's not that hard, is it? Can I stay under five? Probably, right? I've summoned once, twice. I can just summon Tear Cash and Sharon, no? That should be safe. Dude, what was that deck even? Why was there called by? They couldn't even, uh, they couldn't even like use the called by because if they do, they can't play anymore. What was that? Why didn't they call by the ash? Okay, so the that, that's the that's the weird thing, right? If your only starter is like a super heavy samurai card, if you use it and then you chain called by to your opponent's hand trap, you can't use you can't do your super heavy combo anyways because they all don't work if you have a spell in the graveyard. That's why called by is like completely pointless, dude. I'm Telemans is freaking blessed in Master Duel, dude. They give them better better hands. Uh, okay, we have to do the paleo thing now. Where if because we're at the rank up game, we have to play Paleo. Uh, which means we're done, because Paleo can't lose. And then uh, we are actually we're if we win this, we're done like an hour into the thing. Dude, I have a I've won a coin flip with Paleo? What's going on? Today's weird. Today's weird. I don't know what's going on. Today doesn't feel right. Uh Sprunt TCG, thank you for the full year. Appreciate you so much. Thank you. Dude, we've got Iperia. It's Jover. We're ranking up, boys. We're ranking up.
terror top. Uh, okay. Yes. Cherubini. Uh, yes. Water Enchantress. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, the, it's unfortunate that I'm not a fan of the Ice Dragons prisons we've added because it keeps happening that we can't use them. Like they keep they keep being bad. They're good in some matchups, but I don't know if it's worth. Well, they drew Draco back. This is not too bad for us, because this basically just means we've dealt with the Terra Top and the Adventure Engine, right? But they, they can still Normal Summon, so it's not that bad for them either. They can also Special the Griffin Rider if they want to, but it's not that big of a deal. It doesn't have a negate. It is Phantom Knights, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, IDP is pretty good against the Phantom Knight portion. IDP is pretty strong against Phantom Knights. But they can't use it here. Oh, they go Verte. That is a plant, and I they don't have a plant in the... It's really annoying. Um... I don't want to play against IDP, uh, DPE, rather. Wait, where's my karma? Oh. Okay, that's bad. Minor, uh, minor setback, guys. Minor, minor issue. Uh, we'll just get another Paleo, I guess. Well, oh, they drew Fusion Destiny anyway. See, five head. I'm actually, I'm way too smart for this game. Dude, stop asking me five times. It's one attack. Oh my god. Um. Banish the denier. Uh, 
All right, chill. Somewhat chill. Not that chill. Not a great situation, all things considered, but... Ooh, that's good. Oh, that's so good. Okay. We're Master 1 Paleozoic Gamers, I think. The aggressive Opabinia. Okay. Oh, the fact that it can't attack is a little annoying. I was like, if there's an imperm, that doesn't matter. If there's an imperm, that doesn't matter. But now we can't attack with the Opabinia. That's a little annoying. I can make Cambro Raster. I can make Elf. Dude, Elf is funny here. Ooh. Elf into Iperia into draw into a f Pat Zeus. Sure. We lose one Paleo because it goes banished, but that's okay. I do play Gigantic, yeah. I play Gigantic Downward Zeus. That's the point of this. Hey, Ash. Okay, that's actually that's uh that's funny, um, but it's actually good for us that they ash this. Because now they can't ash the fiend griefing. Do I Zeus just a fateful adventure? I think maybe I do. Cause like I don't wanna I don't wanna f send my own fiend griefing when they do something. But I can also just fiend griefing first. I think it's better to just fiend griefing first. I doubt they have a Fateful target left. No, they definitely do. This is at two, right? Yeah, they definitely have another Enchantress. The question now is, do we want to fiend griefing the water enchantress? They're definitely going to discard. I mean, they might not. Maybe they have something else they want to discard. But like, do I fiend griefing the water enchantress now? Do I care? What? Do, okay, they have a couple things in the graveyard that are worth fiend griefing. Um, the the Mali, there's a Mali, there's a water enchantress, and there's a fog blade that's going to try. I think the best one is the fog blade revive, though. I think I need to let them I need I think I need to let them get. I mean, what's the what is the um what does the thing do anyways? Oh, it's another terror top. Okay, I think we won. Uh normal summon terror top is not threatening at all. Water enchantress is not threatening. This is the one. Rap. 
Брап. And what can I say? I told you we can't lose with this deck. I told you we're Master 1 gamers. Dude, it all makes sense now. I, I banished my rollback earlier so I could put it back into the graveyard with Lee and Colia now. It's all coming together. Uh, all right, well, <laughs> I guess that kind of ruins the suspense of this stream. <laughs> we just haven't lost. <laughs> we just haven't lost. Okay, well, we're done. We're done. Not washed. No, not washed. Washed, washed allegations uh, defeated. Okay, cool. We can just, uh, I mean, we can still do the same thing. We can just play other stuff. Stream over? Nah, the stream doesn't end. The stream does not end here. We do other stuff. We just play more. Let's play uh let's play the other deck we wanted to try. This this weird duelist cup vanquish soul snake eye list. Let's see what they were cooking with that. Can you D-rank? No, you can't D-rank for Master One. Okay, why would our hand have been so cracked going first, by the way? Why did we have Raisin plus Wanted? That's unreasonable. Okay, surely... Ash against Branded wins us this game. Walk over it. Walk over it. Let it walk. Let it walk. Easy clap. Is this like a broken combo? Or you just don't get a draw now, do you? You get this, but no draw. Okay. No. Oh, it stays in the graveyard. That's not bad. Main phase three. Yeah, this main phase three is going to go hard. They get Titanic Clad, the Cartesia, and Albion. Thanks. And set one. Sick. Wonderful. Cartesia. Summons Quem from deck, probably. And high spirits? No, you can't use both high spirits effects in the same turn. The card would actually be good if it did that. Well, you cannot do both on the same. K 
Can they trigger Quem's second effect with Branded in Red? If they want to now, yeah. They can if they add Branded in Red with Albion instead of uh instead of setting it, they could. I don't know if that's worth it, but they can still do like a lot of stuff. They, they this hand, they, they their their hand was kind of cracked against uh, Ash Blossom. One of the few uh the few cases where it actually works out. They do search it. Okay, they do call for that. Because they can go, like, Albaz and then make Albion, I guess, with the Grand Guignol if they want to, or with the two in their hand. They use the Grand Guignol, yeah. Albion, the Quem... I don't think the Quem revives anything crazy here, though. So I'm not sure if that's necessary here. Like, you get Mirror Jade. Uh, I guess banishing Mercurio is nice. Relupelion. Dude, when is it my turn again? I kind of want my turn to happen at some point. You know what I mean? I'm tired of branded. I know I've said it before, but... I am tired of Branded. Branded is fun. I know, I know. Playing it yourself is fun. Like, that. that is fun. Um, but I'm tired of playing against Branded. We, we did Ash Branded Fusion, yes. We did, in fact, Ash Branded Fusion. Paleo would have cooked, maybe. The, the Branded matchup is okay, depending on whether they know how to chain block or not. My hopes are that they just throw everything at my Vanquish Soul cards and then I can just go uh, Diabell Star. Because that's not what they're not going to expect the Diabell Star, right? I don't know if it's going to work out. Because they can just. I mean, they can just fuse with the Mirror Jade here. This is so broken, man. Cartesia, fuse with Mirror Jade, make like. Uh, something? Bring the Mirror Jade back with Quem? Nah. Yeah. You would think it's my turn, but um, not really. Uh, and me, thank you for the 16 months. Probably, yeah. Some point. All right, well, now basically we have exhausted all of their field interactions. It's just, what is this back row now? The question is, what is if the back row is real, we lose, essentially. Uh, essentially. Essentially. 
If the back, I'm not even sure if we win if the back row is nothing, because I don't know how we deal with all of this shit. I got no idea. <laughs> Regis, thank you for the 14. I'll discard this in case it's this works against like some stuff, right? If they like try to imperm this, I can use the trap now. Nope. Very cool. I definitely enjoy having three actions when my opponent has like 200. That's very cool. Even after I Ash Branded Fusion. This deck just draws bad hands. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Born HT. Thank you for the seven months. I figured. I figured so much. Ah, uh, yeah. Dude, all these Vanquish Soul cards in my Snake Eye deck, they could just be hand traps right now. I could have just Veilered that Robina, you know? Or vice versa. Even the even the Snake Eye cards could be a uh, could be hand traps right now. They would be Flamberges. <laughs> true. Actually true. Ooh, they're going for advanced lines, the crazy stuff. Okay. That means they have to have another bird in hand, right? They have to have another small bird. Otherwise, that wouldn't make sense, right? They have to have Stri or Tokan. Yeah, Tokan. Raisin is glued to your hand though. Okay, first of all, I've drawn it twice in two games. That's not that crazy. And second of all, it doesn't matter at all when uh, when I can't win the game anyways. This Fluanda Reese deck looks like fun to play, no? So Fluanda Reese is another one of those decks that actually is fun to play if you don't brick. It's just not fun to play against. But yes, you're right. Techno, oh God, there he is. Yep, he's even as a one of poggers. My hand is four normal summons, a flamberish, and a dead trap card. I couldn't be happier right now. I'm going to delete this deck after this game. I don't know how the hell they got top 100 in the Duelist Cup. This does not make any sense. Pilot diff, maybe. Uh, 
Yeah, this feels like a pilot diff. It feels like I'm just doing something wrong here. Just draw better. Okay. <laughs> no, I have a, I have I actually have a solution for this problem. You you, you it, there actually is a solution. You guys are I know you guys are making fun of it right now, but there is a solution for this text problem. And I'll show you. It's very simple. You just do this. And then you just solve all the problems you have with the deck. Your life's going to be so much better. And then you go into ranked and you gamble with tier limits. Because the universe rewards people that, that are mad and queue into rank with tier limits for some reason. See, you win coin flips, you draw broken hands, you mill the nuts. Easy clap. Easy as that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Ryan James McDonough, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you. See, broken hand. And now we gamble. We mill eight cards. And we ash their maxi. Because we don't agree with it. Oh, never mind. We don't have a say in it. Okay, cool. Um, chain tier cash? Question mark. If I chain tier cash, I only mill six cards, but they don't get a draw. I'll do it. I declare worth. Gamma from hand. <laughs> Ray cosplay win. Dude, stop saying that! Uh, thank you for the 13 months. Also, Lozy, thank you for the two months. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you. What does grief do? Banish tier limits traps. All right. Well, we have a shuffler and we milled this. So we get a, what do we get? Meta noise? Probably meta noise. It isn't too bad. It, it's not that bad. We, we gave them no draws. We set two. We can play on their turn. It's all right. Could be much worse. Considering they had Ash, uh, they had Maxi Gamma. I think it's all right. There's a lot of decks that do much worse against those two hand traps. The Vine Temple, sure. Dude, the Shuffler is good against Snake Eye. Very, very good. Normal Summon Poplar. Let's see what we let's see, let's see what's in the box. The box has a Saliex, so we have a discard for Super Poly. <laughs> what do you mean? The usual address, the Ray cosplay. As if I'm ordering Ray cosplays every other week. Um. Do this. The Havness is not going to trigger off of Super Poly, no. But there's a universe where I just use the Havness effect. That's why I got this one. I could just use it and mill three more. Because I have Meta Noise. Um, 
what's this? And now what? You have Dia Bellstar too? Oh yeah, okay. So what I'm thinking is, if I chain Havnis here, uh, I can just get a discard for Super Poly with my... If I make Kit Kalos later, theoretically. I can also mill three. And... Nah, there's, it's not worth it though, is it? Because what if I don't mill a card? Uh, if I don't mill... Uh, you know what? We get it twisted. We have gotten it twisted. It's okay. We got... We, it's just a scream. But it gives us another discard. It's okay. Oh, triggering this isn't great, though. But we were going to trigger that anyways, even if we use the super poly later. Or the meta noise. So it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not even like that crazy because the Snake Eye Ash, it gets a. Oh, it gets a Kurikara. That's not relevant yet. They go for Savage. We meta noise that. Ooh. Rhino Heart is very nice. I think. Prime gives back the Sharon. Do we have another Sharon in the deck? I do. Yeah, Rhino Heart. Rhino Heart effect. Rhino makes the Kurikara alive. It does, but it does more things for us than it does for them. The Kurikara isn't that big of a deal. I don't think. Mm, Austin, thank you for the two months. I'm going to super poly myself into this. Okay, and I, I was hoping to mill snow. The odds were actually quite good there. But that's okay. Because we go Havnis. 
kit and the rhino on the field to avoid their kurikara being unnecessarily strong. Are you aware of new card? Uh, like new card from today, or is it that? Is it that um, vanilla again? Ooh, new voices voice support. Okay, we can look at that in a second. We can take a look at that. I was not aware of that. Thank you for telling me. You're probably not the first one to say that, but, you know. Uh, okay, so depending on what they discard here, if they discard Kurikara, then that... Okay, now the last card in their hand is Kurikara. So I just... Dude, I just rule close that. And send my Kaleido heart. Why would you do that? Just Mudorite? No, I don't need to. Oh, it doesn't even send. Oh, now they contribute to what I should have. I should have. Oh, yeah, my bad. I thought it would send the Kaleido Heart. That's okay, though. I mean, their turn ends and we cook them next turn anyways. It's irrelevant. Call the Rhino in deck still. It is. Does this target? Target, yeah, we can prevent the revive. We know... We know that the set is um, wanted, right? So it is whatever. Wanted and uh, savage. The Fenrir, the Kaleido Heart. Um, do I need a tier name? I have a... No, I have tier names in the deck. I just take your jet synchron. Sinful would be better. Ah, uh, maybe. I don't think it matters. I'm pretty sure they just die here. I don't think it's that relevant, guys. one halfness and mill five more hey what do they have oh they can link karibo tribute to kurikara that's what they have okay Uh, don't think we need to kick close here. We still haven't hit snow, by the way. Oops.
Yup. Mm, your link Rebo, you're wanted, and you're this thing. Clap. Not even close. Max C Gamma plus combo? Not enough. Not enough for Tiramin's strongest. Dude, we haven't lost. Have we lost with Tier? No. Dude, we haven't lost with Tier Limits yet. How? This deck is not good. Why does it win every time? It just gets it twisted somehow all the time. It's not right. One of one? No, we've played games with it before. This is like game number four or five that we've won in a row with it. Okay, uh, you guys said there was new cards. Let's take a look at it. Hold up. Uh, let me see. We have... Okay. Heed the call to arms with Guardian of the Voiceless Voice. More infinite forbidden support. We have a continuous trap for Voiceless Voice, apparently. Which is another target for low that you can immediately place, right? So we have, yeah, Guardian of the Voices Voice, Continuous Trap. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn and cannot activate more than one in the same chain. Oh, so you do get both effects per turn, though. If a non-ritual monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you could special summon a Skull Guardian from your hand or deck. Okay, you're never going to do that, right? That's just the OG ritual. That's just not going to happen. You can send this face-up card to the graveyard, then target a ritual you control. It gains attack equal to the total original attack of all other face-up monsters currently on the field until the end. This card sucks. This card is ass. Check the OG price on card market. There's no way people are buying out Skull Guardian because of this card. There's actually no shot. You have got to be kidding me. Hold up. Skull Guardian has exactly one print from Tournament Pack 2 and it's over 200 bucks. I guess you can't see if I'm on this side here. 350 bucks, 380, 390 is the first play set. There's no shot, man. <laughs> this card... Oh my god, this, you're never going to play that. You're never going to play that. And even if you do, that, it's going to get reprinted. <laughs> this card is ass, man. This is one of those cards. Um, I'll tell you something about these kind. Of, sometimes, I'm, pre I'm convinced this is true, by the way. I'm convinced that sometimes... Uh, they design an archetype and they, they want it to be good. And they're like, okay, we're going to create this new archetype. We're going to make some cards for it, like for three or four sets now. And then, um, and then the archetype comes out and it's way better than they think. And then they have to redesign or rethink the future support for it because they don't want to make more broken cards. I'm, for example, I'm convinced that is something that happened with Dangerous too. Like they made Dangerous first wave. They were like, ah, let's make these kind of Dangerous. Uh, let, let's see how they uh, let's see how the community likes them, and then we'll make more waves in the future, right? And then the dangers come out, and they're just completely broken. And I don't think they they um they anticipated that, and that's why every single like danger support that wasn't in the first wave, they just they're all suck. They all they're all ass because they just they were like we can't make actual good danger support anymore because of how good the first wave was. This feels like uh, another of those cards because, like, the Voiceless Voice is already very, very solid. There doesn't need to be more Voiceless Voice support. Like, the deck is good as it is, right? They gave them the... In, in the next set, they get, uh, like, Legacy of Destruction. They get the Recycling Trap, I think. And that's the only thing that the deck is currently missing. Uh, and so I don't think they need to make good Voiceless Voice support anymore. And they agree, because this card is completely terrible. All right, moving on.
What about Snake Eyes Diabellstar? Kind of in the same boat. Honestly, Snake Eyes Diabellstar support uh, in like Infinite Forbidden and Legacy of Destruction, they they all, they all kind of suck. Like they don't play any of it. Like yeah, they're not terrible cards, but they're also not good. Like they they don't make it into the decks. They for for good reason, right? Like the they don't play those cards. Right? Only this new... This seems to be the only post on the site, yeah. This seems to be the only news right now. Uh, if there's more throughout the day, we can look at them, but... Well. Let's keep gambling. Also, Pale Snow VR, thank you for the Prime. Kunstbanaus, thank you for the 8 months. Appreciate the support, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Means a lot to me. All right, we go second, but it doesn't matter because we have the heavens mandate. We we get we we not draw anyways. It doesn't matter. Our opponent breaks or something happens. Something crazy happens. Surely. Yeah, Maxi resolves something. See? How does tier limits do it out of all the decks? Why is it Tierlament that's just always lucky, man? Dude, Zodiacs? Dryden Pass? All right. And we top deck Ash for their maxi. This deck is just... This deck is not real, man. The set is Macrocosmos? That would break the universe, because they couldn't even give me a hand to counter that. There's no possible hand I can draw to counter that. <laughs> it is Macrocosmos! Oh my god! That Ash doesn't work. Um, yeah, we got cooked. Oh god, the universe, man! Why does the universe play these games with me? Ash it now? <laughs> I'm not gonna ash it. It doesn't destroy it. We just top deck heartbeat next turn. This is basically a rice art. Oh yeah, they've built their own rice art. Dryden plus Macrocosmos, right? Why did you let that happen? You could have just popped it. All right, well. Fenrir in hand, maybe. Not the case. So we just draw a heartbeat, right? Right, chat? It's just heartbeat always. There's no way it's not heartbeat. Would Paleo have beat this? I mean, we would have had we would need an out to Macrocosmos with Paleo. The Zodiac stuff we're not worried about, but we would need to draw like Olenoids, Trap Trick, or Dynamicious to deal with the macro. Otherwise, that would cook us. Okay. I can now special summon Mudora. Which means I can at least deal with the Dryden, right? Because I have two normal summons that are bigger than it. Or two summons, rather. <laughs> Please don't have Whiptail. Please not another Whiptail.
<laughs> Dude. No monster, maybe? Come on. All hand traps? No! How? Okay, we can ash it for one turn. But it stays on the field. <laughs> it's so bad, man. We're ashing. I don't even know what we draw that helps. <laughs> that does not do it. <laughs> I don't want to play stun. Why are you saying that? Uh, Vyashla, thank you for the 5 months though. And DJW, thank you for the 15. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. No! Dude, we've drawn 3 maxis, by the way. Okay. There still is a universe where we draw heartbeat, send the maxi to get rid of the macro, and then foolish makes something happen. But we would have to like foolish into tear cash and mill like crazy. Dude, you're not even making like Zeus or anything? Or like the thing that pierces at least? What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? Why is this working? Why is this game so long? Why am I still alive, man? What is going on? <laughs> Why? What is happening, man? <laughs> oh, God. You have, like, all the nutty cards in your deck and you just... You just... Why? How is it taking you so long, man? <laughs> Oh, I'm not using that. Fenrir was... Oh, right! I could have... I have, like, Fenrir and Wraith Salt in my deck. Yeah, and I banished the Fenrir now, so both of those are not outs anymore. <laughs> Tribute some Unicorn. <laughs> Tribute some to Zootiacs for Unicorn. <laughs> what has this become, man? Birth. You just go for Birth? You don't even play, like, other stuff? Okay. Well, now Kid Kalos is gone. Is this Trudeau still here? I wonder if we can somehow cheat out like a... God. I wonder if we can somehow cheat out like a Punisher. Why is this music playing anyways? Which stage of, stage of grief are we in? Uh, why are you- I don't have the fusion material for that! Oh my god, dude. I am- I, we are in the stage of grief and now we scream. That's our, that's our situation. <laughs> B. 
Why are we still alive? Use your barrage, man. Are you out of Zodiacs or what? Come on, take the take like the Draco Equist next. Okay, the Zeus. Something that makes sense, finally. Well, we have been defeated. <laughs> it's been done. <laughs> Tier limits can be defeated by Zodiacs with Macro Cosmos. There you go. Meta decks? No. Meta decks don't do it. But that deck? Oh, yeah. That kills us. <laughs> Check him deck is not normally. <laughs> oh, God. It was budget or ice art. It actually was budget or ice art. That's crazy. Good old back and forth. Oh, yeah, that was totally a good old back and forth. A hundred percent. A lot of back. I feel like it was a lot of more, lot more back than forth. I didn't feel like we do a lot of forward gameplay. I feel like it was a lot more back than forth. So I don't know if that applies here. These hands are cracked all the time. How? Sure. I mean, that's fine. We just look at their hand, set Sulik, and be vibe. We have Fenrir, Maxi, Sulik, and we can play on their turn. Show me that hand. Chain Stovey Torby. Okay, that's good for them. Dude, if you have both furnitures, I'm calling the police. I for I thought for a second, I thought it was going to happen. Oh my god, I thought it was happening. Sadly, can't Fenrir this because it's untargetable. I wonder if they're going to bounce a Rhino Heart? Oh, just the back row. Okay. Sure. I mean, this Maxi is pretty good because it stops them from chaining here. Okay, what's going on right now in Master 1? How is this possible? Do I get it twisted? It's so bad if I don't hit, though. 
Even if I hit, what do I do? What do I hit? Like, nah, no way. Yeah, I'd rather... I would rather uh, banish the Rhino from the graveyard so that we can mill another Rhino to discard the Salik. That is a winning play. The banishing the Salik from hand leaves me with very little stuff that I can actually mill. Or I can banish the Fenrir, yeah. Now I can banish the Fenrir too, yeah. Okay, Goods is a nice pickup. They do attack the Rhino Heart. Main phase two, they reset. Or... Um, fine. Set one. Set the other. Now we go. Avnus scream. We are so incredibly good at this game. It's it cannot be overstated. I think we send Rhino. To discard the Salik to have maximum gas next turn. Send Rhino. What do we fuse into? I can make Kaleido Heart. Let's do that. No. Rhino Heart effect. Special. Pitch. Rhino 1. Salik 2. Salik probably grabs another Rhino. Um, yeah. And then Rhino sends the one we haven't used yet, which is Shirin. Shirin effect. Makes Kaleido Heart with this. This. And this. And I probably shuffle back the lovely, right? Or do I go for a back row? It's either a it's either an unknown back row or the lovely. The welcome. You want me to take the guaranteed welcome lab? I don't think the welcome is that bad. I'm going to go for a random back row. Actually, no, the welcome lets them activate any trap they want if they go for like Ariana, Ku Clock, whichever trap they wish for. I guess that does make the welcome pretty threatening. They have the bounce? No, they don't have big welcome in the graveyard at the moment. They used it on in my end phase to bounce my set, remember? They bounced the Salik with it. The two sets that they have are the two random draws. We have no info about the sets, guys. They could have anything, but they we do not know any of those.
Uh, okay, that's not that bad. Honestly, the the tier cache is going to mill. The Pearl Rhino still searches. Uh, and the set from this I couldn't prevent anyways. And Kaleido Horde is pretty much immune to removal anyways. And like the, the pop from this also doesn't really matter. I assume they want to go Entis to pop the field spell, but I still get the add, so it's okay. I can go for Sharon. Sharon can pitch the beast. We draw more cards with that. That's fine. Uh, add Sharon. No matter what they hit here, if they if they do go for this, it doesn't matter. Activate. The very first link in the Google Doc is broken. Uh, well, I didn't make the Google Doc, so I'm not sure. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> Excuse me. No way they pop our hand. I mean, do we want them to pop the Kaleido Heart? Dude, what the hell just happened? Okay. Meta noise. Uh, thank you, thank you. We just went plus off of this interaction. How did we go plus against Labyrinth when they activated a punishment with Lovely Ant Lady on the field? How did that happen? Um... Shireen. Draw one, mill one. Did we just mill Havnus with one mill? Phenomenal. I mean, they just die to... The Super Poly just makes it so we don't even have to think about anything. They just die insta. They can't activate this set card. We just scream. Super Poly. Uh, this is... Well, the same type. Different names. Sure, I'll take a trap back to my hand. <laughs> we got snow too. There's no way, man. Not that we need any of this good luck, we just get it for no reason. Is that it? We know that it's a big welcome that they can't activate this turn. Oh god, dude. What is wrong with tier limits in Master Duel? What is wrong with tier limits? How does this work? How does it actually work? This this must be how the OCG felt. This is this must be how OCG players felt during that time. When they kept making ban lists, uh, trying to kill Tielemans, and it just didn't work out. That's crazy. <laughs> Thank you for the 22, Euler. It just keeps working out! You can't ban luck, Gamba. <laughs> 
Dude, so true, actually. Uh, okay. I will special summon once. You will get your draw with Maxi. Why do you use the effect? Yeah, kind of weird behavior, I know. It's probably just Super Poly Crime Solic Pass, right? Just, yeah. Are they actually gonna add Ray with the friggin' Sky Striker sleeves attached? There's no way. Surely it's like Raisin or something. Oh, it's Monadium out of all things. Okay. Alright, dude. Sure. Um, How good is it to just crime this Rhymeheart? What can they have? If, if I remove the... I think that is good, right? Uh, I'm not sure if I like this shear in here. I'm not sure if I actually like it. I don't want to fuse with my Kikolos. I want to send my Kikolos to mill more cards. I don't know if it's worth it. To make Rukolos here. No, I won't. I won't. Sure. I would rather, I would rather Solik with my Kikolos than Solik with my Rukolos. Ah, they just pass anyways. Yeah, and this is also better. Keeping the Kikolos on the field is way more powerful. I'm gonna scream. I thought so. That's the kind of draw that Monadium Andes get. It doesn't matter. I mill 11 anyways. Pop. 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 Depending on how this goes, I might consider going for game. Oh, that is criminal activity. Okay. Sure. I guess I'll mill six. I thought we missed for a second, and then the, the second mill came in clutch with the snow, the scream, and the heartbeat. <laughs> I thought we missed, because the first three were Super Poly, Maxi, and Ash, but of course we wouldn't miss. That'd be stupid. That'd be outrageous to just miss. Brap!
Guys, you miss 100% of the mills that you never take. Anyone ever told you that? You miss 100% of the mills that you never take. We have a shuffler. Is there a world where if they search like one of the little balls here, I just book it? Oh, they go abscission. I need to read that real quick. Uh, abscission. Oh, the stats are messed up. The stats are messed up because of things. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Target a monster you control. Destroy it. And if you do, add a plate. Okay, no, that's fine. Okay, so they just pop this to search a Monadium spell trap. Sure. No, Scream messes them up. Don't all of their tuners say they have to have the exact stats on the field? And Scream just makes it so they can't do that. That's very funny. I think I booked this, go ahead. I think I booked this, because this just makes bobblehead that searches another field spell, all that. I, th I think booking this is smart. Uh, let's just... Use with the Sharon. Wait, I can't make anything with Sharon. Oh, I needed to send Havnus. It's okay. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Maxi number three. No. All right, cool. Uh, I can summon Rhino Horde and send the tier cash. That seems... Does it, does it work that way? Send one with the same type or attribute. Yeah, that works. Summon Rhino. Send tier cash. Rhino one. Mill three with Scream. Mill two with tier... Dude. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. This deck is fun. Why is it fun? Why does it work? Yeah, you can imper me all you want. I'll mill what I need anyways. You can't stop this. What do you think you who do you think you are? I milled nothing. I'm so sad. It's so unlucky. I can't believe I'm so unlucky, guys. It's so act it's actually so unfortunate. Um hmm. Snow isn't actually very good here. I want to get rid of this guy. But then I don't have a tier name anymore. Uh, I can make Punisher? Is Punisher game? This summon this true though. Go down to 4k. Bring back snow once. Make Punisher. Uh, Punisher gains how much? Pay a thousand. Target a monster you control in a car. Yeah, that's game. We're going for it. It's not going to be enough for Nib. Don't worry. Let's 
This is the fourth summon and it's going to be unaffected. They do have nip, but they still die if they do. Cause if they wanna if they wanna make nip work, they have to do it now. Um but then the snow goes back into the graveyard, and then I can just bring back the snow, book the nib, attack it with snow, and the punisher still goes directly. Sick Nibiru. Love that Nibiru. Very cool. <laughs> oh, God, dude. They did not think that one through. Bob. <laughs> Check him, PC. Game bugged. <laughs> that was a sick line. I enjoyed that. That was cool. Easy clap. <laughs> I showed you my rock. Please respond. <laughs> oh, God. Boston Pony, thank you for the seven. Okay, we'll play tier limits until we lose again. Until the Gamba machine breaks. Because I'm afraid I'm going to get addicted. Okay, this might be the one. This might be the one. Although we do have Super Poly and Talents going second. We'll see. Why nib no work? Is that a serious question or are you just memeing? Okay, this is the only way we can actually lose. It's the mirror match. So if you want to actually know why the nib didn't work last game, uh, it's because there was only one monster on the field, which was unaffected. And so they couldn't tribute it and then nib doesn't get summoned. They milled, ah, they milled good. They milled meta noise and heartbeat together. So they get that. No matter who wins, yeah, no matter who wins, Tierlement is going to remain strongest after this. <laughs> Boston Pony, thank you for the 16 months. I'm not sure if I said that already, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, that was a uh, not a great mill, the crime. Now mill eight feel great. Trivi Karma, Salik, Scream. The Scream doesn't have a target, probably. Yeah. Just Salik. Well. Let's hope they don't make freaking Dweller. I'm going to be pissed if they do that. They have both shufflers. I'm in so much pain. Okay, it's a redoer. They are not gambling right, I feel like. I guess double shuffler is pretty good against us. But the gambling so far hasn't been on the best, the best level. You can definitely gamble better than this, I feel like. I think you're being weak right now. I can just super poly into Kid Close, by the way. Right? Kid Close is a tier and an aqua, which is tier and aqua, yeah. So, meta noise set. They milled Pearl Rhino, apparently? Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, 
fuck around and find out. They got a trap card, which is bad for us. At the same time, though, uh, if they detach it, we get the search. Uh, I think we start with Super Poly. Otherwise, that makes their... I mean, their, their scream is live anyways, though. Their scream is live anyways. So I might as well start with Wraith Soth and see what happens. That's what happens. Okay, cool. Um. Mm. Can I go for a game? Is there a world where I can go for a game? I have to, right? I just have to. It's probably not going to work. But I feel like I have to. I mean, I have a lot of gas here. I can maybe even go for another Punisher line. Deck them out. Deck them out. 17. Probably not going to work. Uh, talents to take the rule colos. I mean, I, I, ah, then I can't summon Fenrir though. I mean, no matter what, let's start with Fenrir. Let's start with Fenrir. Let's see if they dare to use Scream anyways. They do. Okay, that makes them decking them out a little bit more realistic. Let's see what happens. I mean, they have two shufflers, though. They milled two maxis and the strudel. I think our win condition might actually be a Punisher line here. It might actually be Punisher because if I have the ability to go... I pay 4,000 for the strudel. I pay 1,000 for the banish effect. If I pay 1,000 for the Banish effect, uh, my Punisher is going to gain 5,000. So that's going to be 8,500. Even if... I'm not sure if Scream reduces Punisher, but that would still be 8k. I think that's the... I think that is the win condition. Which isn't that unrealistic. I think that might be possible. It should still reduce since it's not an activated effect. Yeah, it's like... I, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure, honestly. Okay, you're using that. That's not really relevant. I don't know why you're even doing that. But. Just gets rid of the race soft. Sure. They have milled one Ash, so they probably do play Ash. Well, I mean, they probably play three is what I'm trying to say, so. I don't think we can deck them out, though, under Double Shuffler. That, I don't think that can be the win condition. It has to be some, some cheeky... Uh, Punisher line. That is, that is what it has to be. Uh... Sharon, Tear Cash.
Wow. Uh, interesting? Question mark? Hold up. Um, that should be it, no? Take rule close. Normal Rhino, special Shirin, the Strudo from hand, that's level 11. Banish, can Pep target my face down monsters? Target one monster you can, yeah. Hold up. Uh, normal summon. Easy clap. Easy clap. It would have also worked, by the way, if they didn't activate the redoer. Because my original plan, I didn't expect them to shotgun the redoer. But my original plan was I activate talents. And if they chain the redoer, I do, the, I do exactly what I just did. But if they don't chain the redoer, I just take the redoer, detach my own Salik to spin the collide the, the, the rule close anyways to get rid of both that was cool yo we're addicted to tier limits let's go we keep going the meta noise on their part was really bad uh i'm not sure i think it was okay actually i think i think their meta noise was fine We did get a little bit lucky by drawing the Destrudo. I think that's what we needed that. If we didn't have the Destrudo... Because we, we had no way of getting the Destrudo... Um, oh, this hand sucks. Can we just activate this? Banish Salik? Let's go. Ah, uh, Rhino Heart Mill would have been so much better with Salik. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Maybe I should have prepared for that. I was, my, I was, my thought process was, if I don't hit, then having the meta noise would be way better. Maybe I didn't think, I didn't think big enough. It's my bad. I didn't understand the ways of this deck. Yeah. 
I didn't think big enough, guys. No. I did. Yeah, I didn't believe. Oh, it would have been so good, man. It's fine. We just draw two. We still have normal summon. There's something wrong with the master dual algorithm when it comes to chill. Okay, what was that mill, Billy? Please. Come on, man. <laughs> Your best deck. Let's go. <laughs> oh, God. Check him, PC is not normally. I think we fuse with the tier cache. Um, uh, because I want to actually, what's the point? Because tier cash. No, we fuse with the rhino. No. Do I pop it to mill five? Well, this definitely activates. Uh, I could also pop the. Oh, you know what's better? It's better to pop the tier cache. Because then the tier cache mills two, and then the kit clothes can tag out into the tier cache to mill five more. That's maximum gamba. Yeah, let's go. And what do we search with the kit colors? Haveness? Or just. I mean, crime is not life. But haveness is our last fusion. Uh, grief. In case we miss, I could also send grief to the graveyard to uh to add back the Sulik. The Sulik is banished. Hard meta noise is in the graveyard. Would I rather have Sulik or meta noise? Uh, I'll send grief. And then I will I will just mill the uh, the heartbeat, you know. Let's get the Solic back. I can't believe we got to this point with this hand. By the way, my lunch is next to me, and I was oh my god! I milled this shooter and oh my, I'm addicted. It's never we never we, we just. Uh, <laughs> is this a kick stream is very funny <laughs> it might as well dude oh my god it's valence Vakaushi. Um, sure. There's no way. There is no way they have gamma. They would have gamma this redoer with the quickness. They don't have it. They don't have it.
the hell is this? My turn to play. My turn, make room. DD Crow. I didn't draw a monster. Uh. Well, sure, I guess. Mm, no. Dude, they might deck me out, no? Really, they can do that? I do have a Shoffler, though. Oh, this is nice. I'm criming. Win that time? Uh, you know what? I was gonna make Kaleido Heart. I was gonna make Kaleido Heart. But sure. We're gonna be cringe. Dude, I would never believe that we would get to this point after seeing the opening hand. There's no shot. Pass. <laughs> Just pass. Okay, cool. Noted. All these valence cards, they're now mine. I have a tear engrave. Get rolled, Valence, FTK, Andy, dude. <laughs> toxic streamer toxic streamer bullying okay so my plan was my plan was <laughs> chaotic synergy thank you for the gifts of two tiara men's strongest my plan was to eat food once we lose um i guess i'm i guess i'll stay hungry for a while no we'll do that we'll do it this way decklist please 
Uh, I clicked cancel too late. I'll show you after this game. I'm starving because of tier limits. Tier limits makes me starve. That's crazy. <laughs> Dude, how, why, I, why do I keep drawing these two together, man? The Fenrir and the tier cash? Don't, doesn't the, is, is the Fenrir dumb? Does the Fenrir not know that the tier limits cash is the only target for it? Oh my god. Dude, this, this, this text to speech thing. <laughs> I should have never given you that power. Uh, what are the odds they already have invocation? Oh my god. Dude, you know what? Be a coward and shuffle back my tier cash. Come on, shuffle it back. I need a target for Fenrir anyways. Do it. Do it. That's probably funny AF. It's not that funny. <laughs> it's just a German copy pasta that I'm addicted to tier limits now. Not the super poly. So that means they have invocation, right? Oh my god. Invoked? Snake eyes? That, okay. The only way... Enjoy your food. The only way that this deck can apparently lose games is by getting paired against the most confused stuff out there uh because then apparently the universe uh b like gives them macro cosmos or whatever this is the trap card it's just it's it's just the trap card never mind They're playing lore accurate Diabell Star. I don't think you know what you're doing. You're that. Please do that. Please. Oh my god, they're doing it. Oh my god, they're doing it. Oh god, they're using Maximus. Oh my we I'm never getting I'm never getting food, man. I'm never getting food, man. Use it, use it, use it, use it, use it. You, oh my God, what? You've already drawn with Garua as well. Like you're not getting that draw anyways. Huh? App Cologne Titanic Lad. Why did you do that? I want to eat, man. Uh. Oh, that's why. Okay. <laughs> um. So I can just make a Kaleido Heart in one summon. Um, which is Sharon, Rhino, and Kid Kalos. I guess that's fine.
I guess they, I, in, in a way, that also, that's even worse because that just wastes their maxi for next turn. Okay, they drew Lubellion out of all things. That's kind of good. But I don't have anything super valuable to banish for it, so it's okay. What is this deck, man? Why is everything there? You cannot imagine my level of confusion at this moment. So what is what is this like branded lost or branded beast? Branded regained. Okay. Set one. Okay. Dude, that Maximus play was crazy. They didn't even search with Apcolone. I just now realized that. They didn't even use it. Maybe they already have Schism? What does Schism do again? Okay, there's our out to, out to window, I suppose. I can just check the back row with this, I guess. Nah, what is Pearl Rhino? Uh, the slightly tricky... I, sh I don't think I should have grabbed Rhino, because now I don't have a normal summon for snow anymore. I think it's fine. Don't you just beat over a window anyways? I mean, they can, um... They can send the Kaleido Heart with Schism, though. And if I have already special summoned, then it won't come back. Right? That is one problem. Okay. Schism is main phase only. Okay, they negate the Kaleido Heart.
I'm not sure if this works the way I think it does. Because now my Sharon is not going to summon anything. Uh, so my idea is if they summon Winda now and send the Kaleido Heart, I can bring the Kaleido Heart back because I haven't special summoned yet while the Winda was here. However, I'm not sure if the Sharon still counts as attempting to special summon. I'm not sure. Oh, I can. Okay, nice. Uh, but they have a Bistial now. They have Baldrake now. But the thing is, I, I have to summon the Tierlemans Cash Tira anyways. Because I have to I need something to run over the window. Kit would have run over it too. Yeah, maybe Kit was better there. It probably was Kit. Yeah, I, I, I thought in my head I thought they had a full extra uh, a full main monster zone, but it's okay. Um, well, I can just fuse with this now. But whatever I summon, they can Baldrake. Whatever I summon, they can Baldrake. Yeah, I don't think that's worth... I think... Dragos Tapelia? I don't have a fusion in the graveyard. Uh, battle. Back. Back. I was like, why can't I use Grief? But I was still in battle phase. I was shocked. I was in shock for a second. I was like, why can't I use Grief? What did I miss? Okay, that's a problem. Would I have prevented that though? Not really. Hmm. Haveness. I mean, I guess it's fine. Dude, this game is a mess. What the hell is their deck? Why did I, why did I draw so well? There's no well. There's no way their deck should function this well. I mean, I guess the same could be said about my deck. My deck should also not be working like this. But I, yeah, I guess we do lose our Kikolos here. So now it has to be Sharon. Right. Heartbeat. No, it's Sharon. At the Sharon, yes. Prime. Put back Kit Close. Scream. Dude, we milled the Strudel Scream crime, by the way. 
I'm just saying. We are literally what you could consider the best. Literally, this is a check him PC moment. What do you think the odds are they play like more targets for schism? Do I do you think I need to pop the schism? I think I need to pop the the regained more importantly. I mean, I guess I get more. I want to use this read war before they can flip back up the ball drake. I don't want to deal with this ball drake. Uh, why did I make the redoer with the... Oh, I activated the... Oh my god, I thought it was... No... Oh. I thought it was... Because it asked me like for the second time. Okay, well, if we lose because of this, that's incredibly dumb. You play more? They play two regained. I can't let them have a regained. If they play two regained, this is too much. Even Beast could be a problem. Now what, buddy? Now what? Meltdown.
If they only play the if they only play the trap, this is not a problem. Oh, they play subversion. Oh my god, I don't know if I have the time for all this. We just need to we just need to get through this turn uh and we have snow so we can't die the only thing is i have no idea if i can select the seven for snow fast enough i think i would literally just select the first seven just to make sure it works fine No food for me, dude. What a banger of a game that was for some reason. <laughs> dude, can I win? Uh, can I lose? This deck cannot lose. <sighs> Come on, dude, please. He needs feedings. I have the food already. I'm just waiting until I lose a game. I don't know why I have opposed this challenge on myself, but. Okay, what is it? What is in the sarcophagus? Oh, no, man. Oh, I'm going to be here forever, dude. No. That's cap. Searching DD Crow. Actually, yes, search DD Crow. I'm happy about it. I'm happy for you. Please beat me. <laughs> None of this is normal. <laughs> uh. Surrendering is forbidden? Yeah, I know, I know. I'll try. Thank you for the 420. <laughs> Smile. Oh, God. <laughs> You're gonna make me make the volume. Uh, I'm gonna put the volume down again. <laughs> uh. 
Uh. Chat, what are the odds that in my turn, they're going to have the trap card, right? What are the odds that if I just enter battle phase, they shotgun the trap to make a Apex? Because then I can super poly them for their life savings. Ah, hello, Ash Blossom. Welcome to my hand. Actually, no, I want... Ah, unfortunate. I take it back. I take my celebration back. Why are you trying to win? I just can't. It's just impossible to lose with tier elements. You don't understand. Food is getting cold. It's it's cold anyways. It's a it's a wrap I bought yesterday. So that's not the problem. Rap. Dude, not the stream, man. Dude, joke's on you. I'm gonna mill a tier name with this. What are you gonna do about that? Huh? 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 I'll just mill a tier limit with this. And then what? Oh, you're banishing your own now. Okay, well. I mean, they do have DD Crow, yeah. So I need to mill two tier names. Oh, I could have shuffled the Empen into the deck. That would have been nice. Uh, I didn't think about that. And I milled Talents and Maxi. I think I can eat. I think I can eat. Yeah. I should have... Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. I was so ready for him to target my monster with the Stree that I forgot about it. It was not on purpose. I swear. It was not on purpose. <laughs> it wasn't on purpose! Oh god, you guys will never believe me anyways. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, we lost. Even if we chain though, unironically, what if we chain the Mudora? Like, if we chain the Mudora, they don't get the Empen. And our field stays face up. But what do we do with it? Like, we have nothing. We still lose to their follow-up. Because, like, I chain the Shuffler. They don't get to summon. Uh, I can't play. They still have a DD Crow. You have Ash. Ash is way too... Uh, Ash is way too late here. Saliak would have wrecked them. No, they have the field spell. They can do two normal summons. I think we lose anyways. I don't think it's a... I don't actually think it mattered. It's a misplay, but I, I, I don't think it mattered here. Okay, we've lost. It's React, Andy, and food time, finally. Oof. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, Josh gets to eat. How unfortunate. All right, let me see. Uh, I was thinking about doing this one today. We need the invoked list. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Actually, first of all, uh, this one 
someone wanted to see it they've, they've been asking for it forever here there I, I keep i keep forgetting now here you go this is the tier limit list i copied it from the dualist cup the, this was the best performing tier limit list from the dualist cup uh, i believe they got like 10th place worldwide or something like that well yeah. do you still think tier is inconsistent um I still think it feels very gambly. I guess it consistently gambles well, is one way to put it. it. It still doesn't feel very nice to rely on that stuff. It's fun, though. But I never said it wasn't fun, so... Uh, and then the, uh, the, the Dogmatica pile that we played against was this one. Yeah, that story checks out. Okay, for lunch break today, we'll play some more after. For lunch break today, I thought we could play, we could watch uh, this one. Uh, which was, hold up, let me switch scenes. What about this one, chat? The Blue Eyes White Dragon, a complete competitive history. Now, for whatever I'm concerned, this would be a 10 second video because it would just be like, yeah, this card was this this deck was never good, so let's move on. But it did win the uh it did win the world championship in 20, what was it, 16? So I guess that's there's more about that. Uh this seems like a fine video to do today, and then we'll keep playing after. But I need some time to eat my food, so let's uh let's listen to what Mr. MBT has to say about the competitive history of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Bad chest. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. For many duelists, it's the most iconic Yu-Gi-Oh card in history, beating out the Dark Magician, Exodia, and even Nirvana High Paladin. Kaiba's Ace Monster is the focal point of the very first on-screen duel, and it's loomed large in the psyche of everyone from dedicated tournament grinders to playground players ever since. It's been slapped on toys, games, cereal, and private jets. The card itself is very clear about its place in the game. It is virtually invincible, an awesome creature. But was it ever actually good? This Despite the fact that Blue Eyes has been a factor in almost every one of Yu-Gi-Oh's most iconic duels, despite the fact that Kaiba thought it was so strong he tore up the last remaining copy to prevent it from being used against him, despite the fact that Seto sacrificed God, this monster's kinda shit, right? 3000 attack, 2500 defense, 2 I do actually wonder how we talk about this thing for 12 minutes, cause I genuinely don't remember, I guess, no that's not true, I was about to say it was only relevant during that time in 2015. When they gave it um, the, the Synchro stuff. But it actually was played before that. But it was only an engine in like Dragon. Um, it was only an engine in Dragon. Like Turbo, Exodia, FTK kind of stuff. Where you would use Whitestone of Legends. Because it was a Cards of Continents target. And then Blue Eyes because it was a trade-in target. And all that kind of stuff. A lot of people call it the worst best deck we've ever had in 2016. I'll, I'll tell you right now, there is no way that that deck was actually the best deck. There is no shot. That has to be an issue of the format was underexplored and all that kind of stuff. There is no chance. That deck was so ass. That deck was so, so bad. There's no way that deck was actually good tributes no effect that's it what you see is what you get no matter how many team samurai x1 videos or seething meta duelist cries salty tears compilations you watch this card belongs more in the dumpster than in your deck list right well not exactly yes blue eyes has a reputation as the deck of choice for 11 year olds and your average r slash master duel poster but would it surprise you to learn that it's actually been metagame relevant about a half dozen times since a tem first mind crushed kaiba today we're going to be exploring the complete competitive history of the blue eyes white dragon And I guess it was also meta in the very beginning, right? In LOB format, there is a, a dragon beatdown deck that's like tier one. Which is like, it doesn't mean much, but... Let's take a trip back in time. Before the dawn of history, ancient pharaohs played games of great and terrible power. Last week, 
I went 2-2 at locals with snake eyes. And between these two historical events was 1999. The new millennium was right around the corner, the planes hadn't hit the towers, and in some boardroom at Shonen Jump, an executive team had just decided to make Kazuki Takahashi's wildly popular card yeah, game manga it. into a playable product. In December of that year, the EX Starter Box was released in Japan, and it included a copy of Kaiba's Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now, at this time in Yu-Gi-Oh's history, the rules were more like suggestions. The advanced rulebook hadn't even been written yet, and gameplay oh, resembled game? a slightly more complicated version of War. As a result, this 3,000 attack point monster, no tributes necessary, took the format by storm as the biggest boy available. This early peak for the boy in blue was cut short when the advanced rulebook was released, alongside a series of rules designed to slow the pace of play by requiring tributes for high-level monsters. The Blue Eyes White Dragon still lingered in lists. He was, after all, a great monster reborn target, but he'd already been dealt a devastating blow before he even made it stateside. Enter over a decade of drought. For the next 14 years, the Blue Eyes White Dragon was the literal stuff of legends when it came to competitive. Occasionally, it'd show up in a child's locals list a few seconds before someone smarter advised them to play something. Okay, but that's just not true, is it? Like, that is just... That is just incorrect, no? Like, the, that, the, that card... The, the, the Blue Eyes stuff definitely did happen in, like, uh, a lot of decks between, like, 2006 and 10. Uh, when you play, uh, like, all kinds of trade-in, card of consonants and stuff like that. That is, that is just not true. That card was not gone for 14 years. There was even decks in, uh, like, Dragon Ruler format that played it. Better. Yu Gi Oh grew with terrifying speed, and as Gemini elves became blackluster soldiers, became cyber dragons, became stardust dragons, became utopia, a 3000 attack point vanilla was left further and further in the distance. Then, in 2013, Konami made a decision that would guide the next decade of card design. In September of that year, Konami realized there was money to be made in milking the first series anime. Armed with millions of forum posts featuring Kaiba Yaoi in a folder titled Market Research, they released the Saga of Blue Eyes structure deck. This deck had everything. An incredibly powerful enabler for the strategy in Maiden with Eyes of Blue, an impressively strong tuner in the Whitestone of Legend, and a payoff that let the strategy keep up with- Dude, Whitestone is from like eight years Years before that. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh's ever-changing summoning types, armed with these tools, the deck was poised to be a top player in the upcoming format. And honestly, if it had been released just a year earlier, it might have been. But unfortunately, the Blue Eyes White Dragon structure had the misfortune of being released right after the literal most powerful pack in Yu-Gi-Oh's history, Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. This set introduced the Dragon Rulers, a series of fire, water, wind, and earth dragons whose power level was so high, it choked the life out of the format, including Blue Eyes. See, it turns out these cards aren't as strong as they read. Maiden with Eyes of Blue can be beaten by a quick effect negation in response to her effect. The White Stone of Legends attribute was a liability in a format full of elemental dragons. And while Azure Eyes prevents your board from being popped, so does Mecha Phantom Beast Dracosac, and Dragon Ruler could make two of those. That said, Blue Eyes didn't exist exclusively in the shadow of better decks. Clever players realized the new Blue Eyes cards might not be sufficient to make their own deck top tier, but they might be able to supplement some already powerful strategies. Dragon Ruler needed a ton of dragons for fuel in order to summon their devastating daddies, so they began playing two copies of the White Stone of Legend to pitch alongside the babies, and two copies of the Blue Eyes White Dragon to search and banish afterwards. Space in the extra deck was pretty loose as well, so many players also opted to play an Azure Eyes for the one game in 100 where they had an errant 8-star on the field and a 1-star tuner in their grip. The anti-meta deck during this period, Spellbook, also used some of the cards from the structure, occasionally opting to play the spellcaster type Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Her effect could be triggered by targeting her with a Spellbook of Power. She was a decent defensive option to summon off of Spellbook of Judgment, and if worse came to worse, an Azure Eyes and a Blue Eyes was at least a speed bump to the incredibly aggressive Dragon Ruler strategy. Blue Eyes might have just been a barnacle on the back I of the two best decks, but it was still being represented. Times were good for owners of Kaiba body pillows, then a ban list. Overnight, Dragon Rulers became a shell of their former self, and Spellbook became completely unplayable. While Blue Eyes would hang on as an engine in Dragon Ruler until the daddy's eventual banning in 2015, time were once again tough for the legendary dragon. Konami had tasted blood in the water. So up until this point, the video is definitely well made. I like the style of it, but there's the, the information is not all correct. I think you can tell that I, I don't think MBT played back in the day because there is a lot of stuff there that isn't actually factual. Like the, uh, the, 
the white stone didn't come out in in 2013 and the card was like white white stone blue eyes engine stuff was being played way back in like 2007 or something like that so uh, that's not ideal the saga of Blue Eyes White Dragon structure had outsold almost every single structure deck before it. The press generated by anime fans after hearing that Blue Eyes was playable in something metagame relevant was too much to turn down. And almost as soon as the Blue Eyes White Dragon disappeared from deck lists, Konami began designing its final form. A series of Blue Eyes support so powerful, nothing would be able to stand against the engine of destruction. In April Blue Eyes wasn't played in 2007. What are you smoking? You are being very annoying for like 10 minutes straight in chat right now. I think you need a timeout. Out, and I have explained why the blue eyes cards were being played back in the day. I was there. So, you know, just like stop yapping, okay? 2016, the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie Dark Side of Dimensions was released. This movie, a sequel to the first series anime, deals with the lives of the main characters after the Pharaoh returned to his own time. But most specifically, it deals with Kaiba's desire to duel him again. This movie was mana from heaven for Kaiba stands, and featured him summoning new monsters, making new plays, and most importantly, winning! The movie debuted alongside a new set, the Dark Side of Dimensions movie pack. And a few months later, Shining Victories, a set designed to improve on the cards injected into the meta through the film, released to the public. This set had all the tools necessary for Blue Eyes to take to the skies. The first was Blue Eyes Alternative. This monster checked all the boxes. It was a free summon, it could remove a card on the field, and while it couldn't attack, it was perfect for summoning a synchro monster after using its effect. It would do so alongside the White Stone of Ancients, an impressively powerful tuner which added a Blue Eyes to the board at end step. And of course, the deck's synchro monster of choice, Don't call the me Blue Grimes. Eyes Spirit Dragon. This is one of the most cynical cards I've ever seen printed ever. At the time of its release, the top decks were considered to be Monarch, it's Burning so Abyss, funny. and Performer Pal Pendulum. And this card was designed from- This card just has one effect for each meta deck at the time. It's like, hey, can't summon two more monsters at, at the same time, so can Pendulum summon more than one? Uh, negate a graveyard effect, which is specifically good against BA, and also decent against Monarchs, and then it has like a tag out effect on top. It's just like, it's like, okay, we're looking at the meta game and we're making an anti-meta card for blue eyes. Stem to stern to counter the top strategies in the TCG. For Domain Monarch, the deck could use Alternative to remove a Tribute Summoned Monster from the field, unlocking the extra deck. For Burning Abyss, Spirit Dragon has a random graveyard effect negate attached to it. And for Pendulums, it has a baffling line of text that prevents any Pendulum summoning in the first place. This new blue eyes white dragon strategy hit the the Yu-Gi-Oh! community like, well, like the Blue-Eyes White Dragon on Playgrounds in 2002. Unsurprisingly, this deck took the 2016 Worlds format by storm. At the event, the finals was a closeout, with both players representing the Blue-Eyes White Dragon. Sure, the deck was bricky, and yes, it had some weaknesses, but it was head and shoulders better than anything else being played. This dominance continued throughout the post-Worlds environment, eventually integrating new cards like Galaxy Soldier to send bricks from the hand to the graveyard and convert them into meaningful advantage and powerful bosses like Cyber Dragon. Infinity. What eventually removed the Blue Eyes White Dragon from top tables wasn't a ban list, but the release of a historically powerful pack in Invasion Vengeance. This set was unbelievable. It introduced the Paleozoics, the second wave of Metal Foe support, Dang Long, Totally Paleo Awesome, mentioned. and more into Toad the metagame. Mentioned. Spirit Dragon was a boss built to beat a very specific series of cards, and once new meta monsters reared their heads, there wasn't much it could accomplish. Soon, tops dried up, and Blue Eyes went back in the binder. To be fair, like, what... Well, after the, the the second half of this video has been pretty good and pretty accurate so far, right? Like the only thing, um, the only thing that I would maybe maybe argue with is the statement that Blue Eyes was actually ahead of the meta game. I don't think it was. I think it was mostly um, like, I think it was being played because it was like a simple deck, an easy solution, and like. I don't know exactly why people played Blue Eyes. I never did. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. Uh, I don't think it was ever actually that good, but... But the story Alas. doesn't end there. In 2017, Yu-Gi-Oh! broke. Raging Tempest included the release of a number of powerful cards, but none more immediately impactful than the Zodiac Monsters. The rise of- It was, it was okay. I'm not saying it was a terrible deck, uh, but I, I I don't think, like, in terms of the best deck, I don't think it was good. I don't know why we're, we're still going. Shouldn't it end here, the competitive history? When did Blue Eyes ever happen again? Even as, like, an engine somewhere. I'm trying to think. Where, where was Blue Eyes? Why is there four more minutes?
That peer is a story for another day, but suffice it to say, these critters completely overwhelmed the metagame. Okay, Once the second next, wave of support right. was released in Maximum Crisis, there was really only one deck worth playing, Zodiac. Ironically, this boded well for Blue Eyes. See, there was another card in the Dark Side of Dimensions pack which lined up pretty well against the Zodiac Menace. The Zodiac monsters had a little bit of trouble pushing through big guys, they cleaned up boards by way of a targeting pop effect, and they frequently ended their turn with a defense position Dryden with a whopping zero defense. Enter the Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Like Spirit before it, Chaos Max was a dragon for its time. It couldn't be targeted or destroyed by Dryden, early Zodiac builds didn't play a reasonable main deck out, and the double piercing meant an unaware defense position monster Whip tail could end the entire game. Because of its incredible application against exactly Zodiac, decks playing this monster have a smattering of tops throughout 2017. But let me be explicitly clear, the deck was not great. Yes, it could occasionally clear at a premiere event, but as the metagame developed, Zodiac pilots stopped being caught with their pants down. And of course, you do- No, out. Literally every card in Zodiac searches Whiptail. Outs it. Nice. You still have to live the dream and only hit Zoo on your run. People were still playing decks like True Draco and Paleozoic. And that's it. Three total appearances. At the game's genesis, as an engine in two much better decks, and as a cynical metacall in two formats designed to generate a headline that reads Blue Eyes Wins Worlds. Not the nothing you may have been led to believe, but about as impressive as Kaiba's on-screen win rate. But that's okay. The importance of the Blue Eyes White Dragon has always been its mythology, and within the context of the anime, it represents a physical manifestation that legendary cards are only as powerful as the duelist who wields them. I guess what I'm saying is, it kind of makes sense that it's mid. As an anendum, I figured I'd mention some forgettable, but corner case places where people played the Engine of Destruction. In 1999, Ultimate Offering was released in the OCG. Its effect okay, was- Okay, we were just mentioning the stuff that I was- that I said was missing at the end. Okay. Not super clear. And as a result, many people believed they could just summon high tribute monsters for free using its effect. Obviously, Blue Eyes was very powerful until people figured out how the card worked. In January of 2006, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon was released in the TCG via a Shonen Jump promo. This coincided with Reaper format, a historic format centered around the interaction between Last Will and Cyberstein. The monster you'd summon off of Stein was almost always Cyber Twin Dragon, but there were corner cases where Ultimate was preferable. When Saga of Blue Eyes released in 2013, there was nope. renewed We're interest in the YCS side event sealed structure deck in which individuals would play a structure against each other. The Blue Eyes Mirror is super fun. Managing Maiden is a blast. In 2016, Duel Links was released. This game has a curated card pool, and Konami bent over backwards to ensure that Blue Eyes came to the application way before it would have been historically prevalent. Blue Eyes has been a tiered meta deck in Duel Links dozens of times, and it's often That's the best true. deck on the app. In 2018, Speed Duel was released. Its first format, composed of cards found in the two starter decks, was almost almost wholly dominated by two decks, one of which was the combo strategy Dragon Caller. This deck could, with frightening consistency, barf out of Blue Eyes turn one, which was far and away the best- Okay, so like, we're not actually talking about relevant uh, appearances. Best thing you could be doing in a format without removal spells. In 2019, people experimented with Whitestone and Blue Eyes in Dragon Link, but it was dropped for other, more consistent extenders almost immediately. And finally, since 2021, Konami has been dribbling out additional support for the Blue Eyes White Dragon in Megatons and packs designed around the first series anime. While many of them, like the True Light and Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, read crazy, none of them have made the deck anything resembling playable outside of a local's environment. I'll leave you with the wise words of Kaiba. If at first you don't succeed, blast them with your blue eyes again! <laughs> okay. Uh, I like these kind of videos because it gets you thinking, it gets you talking, it gets you remembering, uh, and I, I still enjoyed this a lot. Um, I do think there's a couple things missing, but it's okay. It was well made. I enjoyed it. You have to see this next. I was going to play. I mean, I, dude, you're linking me this. You think you really think the louch that no one this thing has been made six days ago and you think no one has ever sent it yet. You think I haven't seen this? You think I, you know what, you know, what you're looking for is this one, actually, guy. I'll, I'll hold up. I'll let you, I'll, 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 I'll you, you are, you're looking for this one. Uh, there you go. That's what you're looking for. The reaction. There you go. You have it. Watch it anyways. <laughs> there's, there's no way. Watch. Yes, please. Why, why do you want to watch it again?
everyone has a price. I have to do it. What is not right there? Okay, dude. <laughs>the second reaction no there's no way we upload a second reaction that's cap that's cap let's play something that's not tournaments <laughs> anyways no i was joking Striker, you guys really want to play Striker? Dude, you guys, by the way, you guys are not ready for the day I make that the sub sound. Or like, what do we, what do, what, what do we, what do we think? Do we bring back the, uh, the, we play a song whenever we hit a sub goal gambit? I don't think we can do that, like, permanently, though. That, uh, that would drive me crazy. Oh, God. Go second lab next. I don't know if that works in Master Duel because we don't have Arias yet. But we will play that once Arias comes out. Believe. Trust. Subathon where sub goal keeps increasing. <laughs> I don't know.
make it a rare alert maybe five percent of the time dude you want to you want this be like you want to make this like a thing where you go like into tall grass in pokemon and you have like a five percent encounter rate to encounter a cool song what what happens the other 95 percent <laughs> what is this sword salt opener? I thought they were going to add Protoss for a second. Like, can I have Nibiru? Please? Uh, Elgongora, thank you for using your free Prime on the channel. Always very appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Do you play Nibiru? No. But I would still like to have it. Ah, yes. Mm hmm. Ah, yes, number two. Okay. No, I'm not entertaining this. I'm not entertaining this bullshit. It's a sign. We should have cute Sky Striker. Where is my Sky Striker? There. Do you have a zero hand trap striker list? I did, and then I changed it to this one, but maybe it's better to play no hand traps. Give the people what they want, more sound bites. Yeah, I can set it up. Oh no! Dude, Master One is full of memes. No one's playing serious decks anymore. Everyone is just gambling and throwing for. What is this advanced technology? The runic drought is varying on me. <laughs> we can play a runic game. If you really want to, I can be I can be uh, swayed to play a runic game. Yes. <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Is Runic Sky Striker playable? Ooh, I like where your head's at. I like where your head's at. That's an evil idea, but we could try that. I have I I I haven't tried that yet, but I, that sounds evil. Okay. Scream and Beast. What did the uh, field spell add? Rhino Heart. Oh, they haven't normal summoned yet, right? Can we get a runic variant tier list at some point? <laughs> I guess.
I wish my effect pillar wasn't completely dead. You know, sometimes I wish that. Millenniumize negates the Veiler. Yeah, that's why I'm toggled off, because there's no point in using it. I mean, if we can get to evenly matched. What did they add? They added meta noise. Paleo? Uh, we've already played Paleo today. Paleo was our Master 1 rank up game. Uh, if you want the deck list, you can go exclamation mark Discord and join the Discord server, uh, which is a very fun place. And we, I always post my deck lists there, or my mods post my deck lists there, rather. If they're not being lazy. I can't believe they sometimes forget to put the deck lists up, considering the amount that they earn for being a mod. Uh, FSZ Open YGO, I think you put eight months. Sorry, Sag, that was a that was a joke. <laughs> yeah, the money changed them. Why did they destroy in Pearl Rhino? Uh I don't they didn't search another field spell, so I don't know. I maybe they didn't see that they milled the race off. Okay, they have Solic and Meta Noise. Rigged ass game. <laughs> oh man. It's just that easy. Okay, let's cook something evil. Let's do something devious. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's funny because in my head, I was like. Uh, I was like, how can I trigger, like, I was gonna, like, road up for Ray, summon Ray, just activate effect, so they, they would chain, like, the Millennium Eyes or the Rule Close, so that I can evenly, but, uh, but with the thrust, and then they just, I just drew, drew the thing anyways. Uh, Paleozoic Opabinia, thank you for the five gift subs. Uh, appreciate that so much, thank you for the support. I'm gonna play a Paleo game, uh if you want to, at some point. I just typed Runic Striker into the search thing. That's crazy. That's a crazy thing I did. I, w I wanted to put that here. Mm. Uh, so what do... What's the goal? The goal has to be deck out, right? Surely? Uh, maybe flashing fire is a good idea, you know? Um, runic. You might play more of these. Runic allure? You think we play runic allure? Maybe. Guy striker. Three... We definitely play Engage. We definitely play Linkage, right? This is how we clear the extra monster zone. We play Multi-Roll. Uh, we play three Widow Anchors. We play a Shark Cannon. Maybe. Allure also triggers on your opponent. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. But that is not that does not make the cart much better. Izuku, Hayate, Kaina. I don't know. I don't know which of these we're gonna play yet. We're gonna have to clean up that extra deck. Uh so what's the game plan? We just like drive our opponent out of cards, right?
Uh, trust. Hold up. Mm. What is the thing called? Armory. Hidden armory. Um. Yeah, we don't need multiply ates. I don't think. <laughs> Sick deck, please never play this against me. I don't think we need this. Um Dude, this is this is like paleo but in green. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if we need runic allure. I, I'm not sure. Uh, but I th one thing I do think is good about runic allure is that we can discard for like once I mean we don't need three Hugans anyways. Um is Freki good maybe? Maybe Azalea. But we cannot get to no, we can't make Azalea. I guess we can. I think we might need two Zeeks. To link off all the stuff that we take from our opponent. We need trade in for spells now. <laughs> um, surely this deck plays like thrust or talents and just blind second, right? Because going first, what do we do? We don't even do anything. Uh, you could play Diabell Star in this with um. You could play Diabell Star with what's it called with the trap, and then you can keep looping the trap every turn. With Silvera. It's, it's evil, but you can. Let's do it. We can just play, we can just play how many, however many cards we want, it doesn't matter. Mm. So once we go Diabell Star, we have a monster in the main monster zone. What do we link in? Is there something to link into on turn one? If we have like Diabell Star plus, I guess we have to make Zeke all the time, right? To to clear. Actually, no, we don't want to clear the Diabell Star. It needs to stay here, and then we just use this first, and then our zone is clear again. Now that's fine. Hmm. Do we play triple tax? I mean, now tri with triples, uh, with, with the Diabell Star stuff, we can actually go first. <laughs> That's fine, brother. There's nothing fine about this. No, this is going to be fine. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I need to try this to get a feel for it. Hold up. We can make adjustments as we go. Just make it 60. No, 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 no. It needs to be consistent. Oh no, wrong, wrong deck. Another war crime we I see. We could play Hercules base for hidden armory as a target. Okay, watch this. This sounds kind of garbage. How did we run three Diabell Star cards in 49? And no runic. We need more runics.
Dude, trust me, if we survive... If we survive... Surely. We had three Diabell Star, but no Runic. Yeah, we played six copies of the Diabell Stars and like 16 Runics. Riddle me that. Okay. Okay. Why no animation? I believe my setting... I, I, I think I set it to... First time only. And so because I already used it, I'm not going to get another animation on their turn. Surely... You have to do this. They have Snake Eye Ash, we lose the game. So they just won't. Pass, 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 pass. Okay, that was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. It happens. It happens. We got high rolled. We got high rolled. Okay. That going first this would have gone pretty hard. We'll have to see going second. Zodiac. Okay, surely we can beat Zodiac. Surely we have the means to defeat the Zodiacs. Opponent was a meta sheep, it happens. <laughs> Dude. I swear if this is macro cosmos again. Why is it both search targets in my hand right now? Why? Why is it that? Okay. It's 
Start banishing. No! That's actually bad for us. Dude, they are so confused right now. It's very funny. I'm not quite sure how we prevent getting Zeus next turn. We probably don't. The true samurai way. <laughs> Dude, this deck needs talents and thrust. We, we need to see cards like Engage more often. We need to make it blind second uh, and make it a complete abomination, guys. Yeah, we just get Zeus next turn. We need more like talents and thrust. We need talents and thrust. This deck can't push through anything. Triple attack. Uh, maybe the Diabell Star stuff is cope. Uh, and let's play an extra runic. Because 49 is is perfect. 54 is optimal. In Paleo, it's 54. But the math is different when you blind, blind seconds, you see? Yeah, we blind second. This deck won't work. Master Duel knows they better keep us away from, from the servers. What's this deck's win con? Don't worry about it. I'll show you. Alright, cool. Okay, now we're talking. How do we keep drawing fountain, by the way? I don't understand. Okay, they already have Long Yan, so they're going to be on Chi Shao, Blackout, plus Baron. Or maybe even... Pro I, I'd prefer if they went for Protoss. That'd be nice. Please go for Protoss. Trust me, you want it. You want Protoss. My guy, go for Protoss. It's a 49 card deck. Surely you think it's branded and you go for Protoss Call Dark. Instead of going for Blackout. Has to be. 
That has to be what you do. Are you going to go to YCS Rally? I'm going to stream YCS Rally. We're going to watch it together, but I'm not going to be there, no. Is this where Josh tries to activate Hornet Drones? Peppa Lad? Joke's on you! I'm not playing Hornet Drones. Damn. Oh, they already have... Okay, they just have everything. They go Protoss, Baron, Shishao, and Blackout. Oh no, they just search... Stana? Okay. Give me a thrust off the top. Or a talents. Or an engage. Or a bamboo sword. I don't care actually. There's no way that they randomly make that, right? There's no way you randomly summon that. There's no shot. This is so dumb, man. This is so... This is not even the right play of the last card if it's not just exactly one runic. It's... It makes no sense. Do I even just bother? No, I don't, right? No, fine. I can just add it back. It's the fact that they still lose is crazy, by the way. They are still losing. Yeah, Max, see me all you want. I know you have it. Yeah, go, 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 go. Very proud of you. Sure.
Knight Adrian, dude. Knight Adrian. Okay, let's do one more with this. Let's do one more. <laughs> Scrooge, thank you so much for the 13. 100% win rates since last game. True. Not wrong. That's a lot of bamboo sword cards. We can draw a bunch. That's gonna take a while. No, or not. <laughs> it did not take a while, actually. Okay, vibes. I really need a runic. Actually, yeah, I do. We're gonna do something really weird. Because we're gonna have to shark cannon summon the maxi. You ash that, you are crazy. Actually, maybe not. I was gonna shark the maxi, but now that I didn't get this search, it doesn't make sense, I don't think. So. I guess they didn't have a play last turn. Let's hope that doesn't change. It has changed. This runic allure is making me mad. I'm gonna take it out. That runic allure is cap. That's so bad. We don't need that card. We've been drawing it like three times as well, but that card just ruins everything. We need more runics. If we play this many cards. Uh, I said last game, but that doesn't count. If we had a runic there, we actually would have cooked them. We just don't play enough. Magician souls. Uh, magician souls could work. Okay, that's cracked. Oh, not a brandy, man. I can't take more branded. You gave up on being master? No, we already are. But nice, uh, nice attempt at being annoying. Magician Souls has a synergy with Diabell Star. Yeah, if we were playing, we you if you want to make this a complete abomination, I mean it already is, but you could play like Diabell Star and Magician Souls, yeah. Mm. We did hit Master One earlier, yeah. And we played Paleo for the final game, by the way. Just one is just saying. Just saying. What's the point of the bamboo package? You see this card over here? It says draw two cards. And they're all spells. That's the point of those cards. 
You can use the the cursed bamboo sword as a free discard for Hugin. Uh and you can send them with multi-roll and they always replace themselves. They're not once per turn. And if you have multiples, you can draw multiple you can draw cards with the golden. I think those cards are actually okay. They just take up a lot of deck space. So that's why modern Yu-Gi-Oh decks don't play them. They also always lose to Droll. So like, you don't play them very often or ever. But they're okay cards. Upstart Copium. And ironically, maybe we should be playing Upstart even if we go over 40. Because the life points don't matter. We don't win by damage anyways. And we want spell cards in the grave for like the striker cards. So maybe we should be playing Engage. Uh, Upstart. Oh, Branded Beast can be annoying. <sighs> Dude, they didn't even use... They set up Retribution and all that, and they didn't even use it to get back Branded Fusion. They just drew it, didn't they? They just had it. Yeah. Sick. Why is there an Ecclesia anyways? I'm confused. Alright, at least it's my turn now. Lore reasons. Ah, okay. Lore reasons. Cool. Summon, Quem... Dude, my turn. I, I, they're probably gonna have more actions on my turn than I have. Most likely. It is nice not having to discard, essentially, for Hugin if you have Cursed Bamboo Sword. That card is good. Isn't destruction at one and you drew it versus beast? Uh, yes and yes. So what do they make here? Lubelion? Yeah. No, Albion that is. That's Albion. Sure. It's not like the destruction is crazy here anyways. Like, we can also just summon uh, a... Uh, what's it called? A Munin.
We can win this. It's gonna take a while. Okay, toolbox is good. We have one more cursed and two more bamboo and two more golden. Uh... Let's go tip. Let's grab probably flashing fire just to pop this this dude. This is annoying. Dude, we have so many cards. We are printing. The question is what do we do what do we do with all these cards? They are getting kind of low on deck cards. This, I mean, that has to be the win condition, right? Like that, that always has to be the win condition. Okay, they use the Cartesia now. I'm pretty sure that's good for me. We'll see. This one does not mention Albas, so the Quem can't bring it back. I'm happy about that. It doesn't banish now. The flashing fire won't banish anything, but that's okay. Granguigno, send what? Garura, okay. That's fine. That's whatever. Let's go ahead and... Fountain now. Let's go ahead and fountain and just I think I think it's just smiting storm to banish. Yeah. That's six cards. They play Dogmatica stuff in there. Well, we saw the Maximus, but they even play, like, more. Put these three back. Hope they don't have Ash for this. Uh, they... I mean, I... I, I could protect with Hugin. That... But the Beast is gonna be a problem in the long run anyways, so... Let's get rid of it. I was thinking I might rather want to pop the regain, but the regain comes back in the end phase from the beast, so... We have to get rid of that. We banish four more. We draw three. Uh, hidden armory is good. Actually, hidden armory might... Uh, hidden armory can add from graveyard, which is really important for this. Because uh, we add this from the graveyard now. Uh, now we can linkage. We can linkage the fountain away and then maybe later on add it back. I'm not sure if that's going to work. Uh, we could also just linkage the bamboo sword. Linkage the bamboo sword. Seems good. This... Kagari. Uh, just in case they have Mercurier, we want to do it this way around. We add Engage. Bamboo Sword. Trigger. Dude, we're doing evil, evil stuff, man. 
The toolbox is that dead, sadly, because we have we it needs to show the toolbox needs to show different names. But we can send it for we'll see. What is blood playing? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Alright. Uh Zeke. Actually. Criminal behavior, absolutely. Ooh, the thrust. Okay. Thrust talents. Dude, this, this, thing, this thing is... Okay. Um... This deck needs Exodia? No, it doesn't. That, that's not gonna work, guys. You can't have that many dead cards in your hand. Um, Thrust. Probably engage. Because we're gonna draw talents anyways. Uh, Bamboo Sword. On the jade, golden, droplet, smiting storm. Okay, Zeke. This guy out of here. Have they triggered Quem this turn? They have. Uh, let's engage. Or a shark cannon, maybe? There's something cute we can do. We can get this guy. Don't want to deal with that card. I'm gonna use Slumber. Banish more stuff. Um, we're gonna make... We could have gained a lot of life points if I had made... Uh, I know, but like this... this it, it, zero, zero. <laughs> Okay, um, we have, okay, that, that sh should be it, that should be it, okay, end phase, roll, the shark cannon, 
Widow Anchor. Here. Sure, get your Magnum Moon. They're letting me activate the spelling here is great. Unless they add from grave. They should add from grave, really. Oh, I did use the spelling? Okay. <laughs> Recycling that guy. I love the branded end phase, man. Wait, you don't get extra time when your turn ends? Oh, I do. Okay. I was like, what? Bestial this patter. Um do this. There are our talents, dude. It's actually insane. We needed that last turn. We can banish the entire deck now? Yeah, but they won't lose immediately. They are deck thinning for us, which is good. Okay. <laughs> Woo! And there we go. And it doesn't get better than that. John Konami. I'm not making the ban list. What I was meant to say is I don't think it gets better than that. I don't think we get a better game than that one. I, I don't think it I don't think it works out. I don't think it works out. But that's uh, that's the concept of this crazy brew. Okay, let's play something real now. Um You guys asked for a for a uh, for a runic game. Let's do a runic game. An actual runic game. Not not that one. Who asked? Literally everyone. Everyone asked. Everyone asked. Ah. 
look, boss, the deck is in the channel before you even started your turn. <laughs> That's crazy. Is it actually? Oh, it is. That was smooth. Dude, who the hell opens Keldum Wodora in 2024? Why are both shufflers in play against Runic right now? Why are both... Why are they both here? And what are you cooking? That's gonna be full combo, right? If they make Visa's Armitara and then get Pearl of Rhino or something? That's so dumb, man. Why is Mudora plus Revolution Synchron tier limit combo? Why does that equal Pearl Rhino, dude? This whole Menadium Visas lore was a mistake. I'm saying it right now. We might, you might not be ready for that talk, but I've said it. Okay, search Sharon to fuse with Sharon is a technology. One of the plays of all time. You can make with Uni and Revolution Armor Tara the, uh, what do you mean, Nightmare Unicorn? No, it needs a light monster. Uh, Kashira Unicorn? It, it, you can't, it needs a light. Or what do you mean? Where, is the, where did this snow come from? Oh, tear cash milled it. Sick. Dude, you're not done yet? Just search a trap. Well, you don't have any more traps, I guess. Dude, just call it a day, man. So what are they going to have? Baron, Rulkolos, Metanoise, Saliak, Snow Engrave, both Shufflers Engrave. It's act I don't think it's winnable. Unless they literally fall asleep in front of their PC. And they had Ash for Mexi, remind you. Tier needs more bands? No, Tier Limit doesn't need more bands. Tier Limit just needed the right bands. They just didn't do the good hits for the deck. They didn't remove any of the gambling factors. They just removed, like, the consistency. But you can still gamble with it. It's just like half of the hands do this and half of the hands do nothing. This is the reason Kikolos is not coming back. Yeah, Kikolos is not coming back. There's no shot.
No, it's not winnable. They can't mess it up that badly. That was the runic game? No, that didn't count. If this is flu now, I'm losing my mind. This is a freaking simu simulation if this is flu or stun. This game might just be unplayable at the end of the month in Master 1 unless you're playing complete Gamba decks. You literally have to embrace the literally the only deck that was working today after we hit Master 1 was Tier Limits. Everything else has just been getting high rolled. But it's not like we're not losing these games because our deck is worse. We're losing these games because we're going second and they just draw the absolute nuts every time. We would have destroyed tier limits with our last hand if we had gone first. We would destroy this if we would go first. It's just like, uh, these decks just get better uh, RNG. Tinfoil hat on. Strapped on. Runic Striker cooked after- Oh yeah, Runic Striker would cook this. Let's be fair, you jinxed it again. Yeah. It's going to be our turn soon. But it is sadly going to be literally our turn. Not actually my turn. Uh, Railgun, thank you for the six months. Yeah, we, I've seen it. We've, we've tried some of the decks earlier.
Okay, we banished a Ryza. That can be huge. I'm sorry. Thank you for the first time, Prime. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for cheering me up in these dire times. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess we have to... Here's to hoping that they don't have another tribute monster in hand. Or feather storm. Imperm is bad, but it's not as bad as Featherstorm, obviously. I guess. I draw a runic there, I genuinely probably win. I'm pissed, dude. Ah. Okay, let's do one to cheer me up. Let's do one last Gamba game to cheer me up. Did you see the new card yet? The voiceless voice one? Yeah, I've seen it. That's also, again, like five coin flips in a row casually. I don't remember this ever happening with like winning coin flips. Is that just me? The last couple days, it's always like, oh, we've lost 10 coin flips again. We haven't like won a lot of them.
Okay, I guess this is like going first. It's like going first, but with a battle phase, yeah. Which is pretty cool. Okay, that doesn't count as like one last one. That doesn't count. We play more. We keep going until we're tilted again. Uh, Dark Lord Shigi, thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Thank you. Always very happy to see those first time primes. Because it means we're growing the community. Thank you so much. Dude, I would rather go first without Maxi than go second with Maxi. But here we are. Impressive. Impressive stuff. Um... I can super poly the Fenrir on their turn. But with my Mudor, I don't really want to. I I'm I'm just trying to think if it's worth setting the Rhino Heart because maybe well what could they make so that I could super poly with it? Is there a chance that they summon a water? I guess I could do this just in case. Alright, just survive through the shifter turn, no problem. Quote, normal Rhino and Scream, no effect. Yeah, but that prompts him to just attack the Rhino Heart uh, and banish my Scream and run over the Rhino, and that's not great for me. Okay, what the hell? Okay. He's going crazy? Uh, somehow, yeah. Okay, we lost tier cash. That's probably the one most annoying banish. Not sure.
No, I don't even super poly this. I just take this damage. Whatever, man. Still better than the one halfness? Yeah, the one halfness or the one uh, tier cache are the most annoying. Wait, this one didn't attack? Can it not attack? It can. Okay. Well. I mean. Oh, the field spell. I see. No, not the Kazajin. No, the Suijin. Oh, no, Suijin pass. How would we ever just they? Uh, how can we? I mean. There's no way we can just brutally murder them this turn, right? Absolutely no shot that they completely die into oblivion, right? We would never do that. Shadow in grave has an effect. There's no shadow in the grave. Remember that. Okay, monsters cannot attack except level 5 or higher. So I can just put up big fusions. Uh, or I just pop this, uh, pop that. Oh, we'll see. Mm. Let's begin with Chirin. Yeah, yeah. Why can't we see what you mill? Because that is just that just happens to be the best place for the face cam. Unfortunately. Is that Gate Guardian? Uh, no, that was Gate Guardian. I hope this cheered you up a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I mean, however much a game where you got shifted and uh, had a bunch of cash Tira summoned against you cheers you up, you know? Um, all right, guys. That's going to be it for today. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream. We hit Master 1 a little bit faster than I thought. I, I thought it was going to be a little bit more, like, uh, you know, a little bit more exciting and all that kind of stuff. But it was still fun, I hope. Um, I hope to see you guys again uh, later on doing the... Remember, we're doing the podcast with Farfa later today over on Farfa's channel. So I think he's, she should be live already. I'll send you guys over there in a minute. Hold up. Is Farfa live? Farfa is live, yeah. I'll send you guys over to Mr. Farfa in a second. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to stream tomorrow yet. I told you this earlier. I'll see. I'll let you know if there's a stream tomorrow. In any case, there's a stream this Friday for the Challenger Cup. So don't miss that. Uh, hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support, the subs, the follows as per usual. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope to see you guys later doing the podcast recording on Farfra's stream. So yeah, appreciate you guys for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Peace. See you later.